Oh, you can't hear me. Hail! And hail. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. And welcome. Big old bat face. And welcome. Yeah. Last night we did some stuff. Got some flour ready. Oh, I shifted my build completely over. That's right. Not completely over, but... I'm now Icebreaker. Icebreaker? up a little bit ago around 12 because I was up late I'll show you what I look like I changed my look I changed my name I changed everything oh my god oh my god I fine-tuned the build build Bloody Mask, Grim, Grim Reaper Sprint, Serendipity, Class Freak, Starsh Jeans, Legendary Perks. I brought this stuff back, because I already maxed this one out and it's really good, and I got the Power Fist, so I kind of had to swap everything out. Hey, old Deborah, I had to swap everything out. And I feel like keeping Funky Duds on. The good thing is, right after I decided to leave it on, I fought a My Alert Queen and I survived. She was spitting at me. She was spitting on me and spitting all up in her. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I was playing on a private server. Uh huh. Got my flower, got my candy. Let's check the flim flam. Okay, I will now join her team. Check the map for bad people. Okay. I will now take off Lone Wanderer. It's pretty good for the AP region. And I'll slap on my inspirational and strange in numbers. Let's go check out the daily op. It's uplink Vault 94. Melee. What? <laughs> that should be fun. So I'm doing that, the punching thing, plus I'm using a grenade launcher and a the Vampire's Hellstorm Missile Launcher and some grenades of some random variety. Whatever grenades I happen to have. 
Yep. Come in. Restoring connection to the uplinks in this area is mission critical to the Brotherhood's efforts. Prepare the signal repeater to get started. We'll need it working if we want connection to the uplinks. I feel like I haven't done a uplink in here in a while. Good timing. Signal Remember, it's melee. I'm picking up hostiles. Team. Very mental. Fury. Break line of sight. Oh, where's where's my Barry Mentats? Barry Mentats! There you are. There you are. Okay, I'll lower my life a bit. I do have adrenaline active, so I have to keep killing them. Drop down, please. Thank you. So far so good. So far so good. Drop down and we go. And I'm done. Three, two, go. Bye bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye bye. There we go. Break line of sight. Yeah. It's all about breaking that line of sight and making them come forward. It's actually faster alone because your teammate isn't running around shooting them. I'm trying to have the enemies come towards me. Him walk forward. Oh, 
I want them to come to me. Pressure. Till next time, dodge out. But we did it. Good job, Icebreaker. Mm. Yeah, I got the Brotherhood special op suit. I've been waiting forever for that, and I finally got it. Yay! See, that was fun. It was dangerous. It was rough at times. But we pulled through. You know why? Because the line of sight breaks. You saw I was hiding in the corner. You have them move forward. Otherwise, the guy down the hall doesn't move. You got it? If the rage dude all the way 30 feet down the hall, at the end of the hall, can see you and they have a gun, they're not going to walk forward if they can shoot you. They'll stand there and shoot you. The second you break line of sight, they take a couple steps forward until they see you again and they stop and shoot. If they don't see you, they'll keep running all the way to the corner like in any other video game on earth. But that was fun, huh? Good job. Good job. Yeah. So yesterday, I was trying to uh, grind. Hello, students. Wachoga High School is here for you. Wachoga High wishes you One a second. happy Halloween. Don't forget your costumes. Look for the Monster Mash going on at Wachoga High. Get your candy. I was trying to can. grind for a new weapon. Give me a second. Give me a moment. And give me 85 more degrees of a, of a second or two. And we're good to go. Yeah, so I was trying to go for a new power fist. You see? And I got one. 
This one's okay. But faster swing speed. Take less damage while power attacking. That's cool. Because it's kind of slower. And you're vulnerable. And has a slower animation. <laughs> and a uh, suppressor. I was just trying to go for a faster attack speed thing. And I got it. From the purveyor. I was going for two stars forever. And then at the, at the end I, I gave it a three star shot. Hey, look, I had three stars on it. <laughs> and then I was trying to upgrade it. But the main problem was I didn't have Makeshift Warrior 5. I have Makeshift Warrior 1. Because I got rid of it in the past. So, I was forced to either level up four times or find a mod. So I went through the top of the world looking for a loose mod. Didn't find it. But then I went down to the vendor, and I found the heating coil mod. And that worked out. I was going for the puncturing, but this one's fine. It adds energy damage. And I'm no longer grounded. I'm no longer using the grounded mutation. So I don't have that loss. You have a Welcome. damage reduction Hello. with energy da with energy weapons if you have the grounded mutation, which also gives you increased Welcome energy resistance because you're grounded. But I figure there's a bunch of weapons that have energy damage, like the flamethrower, and even the Gauss minigun has energy damage. They all do. Gauss shotgun, all that stuff. A little bit. So I got rid of it. And because of that, it's okay to have energy mods. In the past, it would always be a negative thing in the back of my mind, knowing that I had the grounded mutation. I still have plans on becoming a carnivore again. I was an herbivore. I still am an herbivore. It's just really easy to level up. But I feel like carnivore is much better, of course, for melee. And this new build is essentially melee. Besides the 40 millimeter auto grenade launcher and the rock missile launcher. So, right now I'm here at the vendor. Just trying to get rid of a few things I don't need. I'll get rid of my stim packs, the Radex, the basic Radaway. Make a lot of money from that. The sort by nothing. See, I, I try to focus on the... I try to focus on the super stim packs. And I get rid of everything else, even though normal stim packs drop all the time, especially in daily ops. And while I'm here, I'll just buy some random steel. Okay. <sighs> And since I really am here, oh my gosh. I can't do anything about it. This build only has one perception. See, I changed my icon, I changed my look. And, uh... Like I said, I'm I'm gonna try to avoid using my power armor build until I unlock the skin. Right there. So from here to there, no power armor unless I'm using excavator, which I still plan on doing. All right. So my build will be this. What you see right before you. That's true. Just a heads up of what we're doing today. Shazam. Alright. Good to go. Let's go check my box over here. I'm just heading back to my, my camp. Pull out a few more things. I'm trying to use random grenades, like I said. 
just to get rid of them in combat. I think it adds a bit just to spam every last grenade I have. Get a big old stack of all this weird stuff and save the standard grenades. Use mines as well. I'm using Ordnance Express, so it's no big deal. Molotov, of course, plasma grenades, all this stuff. I could probably hold on to it. Yeah. Yep. We're fine. I'll get rid of a couple more things here. All these other items we're picking up. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. It's pretty messy with a bunch of crazy grenades, but, you know, that's just what we, what we gotta do here. Special op suit. Okay. Keeping certain things, getting rid of certain things. Yep. I'll be selling this stuff later on at my camp. Swamp Camel has that suit. It weighs that much, huh? What? Huh. What? Huh? Okay. Welding helmet. Come on, video game. You're gonna treat me like this? You're gonna do me like that? I'm trying to clean you up, buddy. Let's pull out all the AP foods. There's no need to have certain things here and or there. Yep. All that nuka cola. Random alcohol. I only really want the ingredients in my stash. The salt, the spices, all that. Everything else can be on me because I'm using through hiker or the grocer's backpack. One or the other. Yeah. I'll sell the rest of this garbage. Sort of. I like the fancy lad snack cakes because there's some recipe that deals with it. All the alcohol, the stupid bubble gum, blood vegetables. You gotta make room. Now I'm selling all these magazines and whatnot. Let's put the rest of these bobbleheads in my stash. They weigh a pound each. The serum. All the magazines. I'll sell them when it, well, later on. Stealth boy. Alright. Alright. Sort by week. Or module. I have 19 modules. Okay. All the extra hollow tapes I put away all the time. I clean it up. I clean it right on up. Couple of these. Okay. This stuff, any important plans? Put away. Alright. All these other forest maps I'll put away. That's it. Cool. Mods. I want to keep these mods now. Most of the mods. Sort of. All the important stuff. All the important stuff. I'm telling you. I went around the map looking for the mod I wanted. It's worth way more than that. Tell you that much. Like the extra flame jets for the shish kebab. Let's say that you find a really good shish kebab. And you want to start like healing the Brahmin during the free range mission. And you want to put the extra flame jets mod on your weapon. If you don't have the actual physical mod, you have to mod it yourself or have somebody else mod it. To mod it yourself, you probably have to have makeshift for your level 5. A perk under intelligence. 
So all the stuff is pretty good. Uh, most of the, the sharp thing, the trapper, sleek mod, uh, whatever. It starts to add up, though. So over here, I have all these fusion cores. Let's get rid of all the excess. I'm just going to keep the... I'm, I'm going to keep 10 fusion cores, and the rest of everything else I'll get rid of. I'll keep the fuel, though. And the 40 millimeter and the missile, but I'll keep those on me. And the 2 millimeter, I'll keep that as well. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We all clean. I'll get rid of the blood pack. Blah, blah, blah. Stealth boy, buff tats. Stealth boy. There we go. Bunch of alcohol. Everything's fine. The store. Whatever I could from over here. Such as... One final time. The salt, pepper, spices. Salt. Spices. Pepper. Those are ingredients. Also the... Yeah, we're fine. Keep everything else. Alright, now let's go keep on selling. And giving away. Isn't it a fun old time? Huh? What is up in here? With this box. Thank you. Well... I'll just take the, uh, within this box. See, th this isn't enough to be duped or anything. So this is just someone that made a mistake. So I'll take this stuff. You know? If it was thousands, I wouldn't take it. If it's 49, then lucky day. You know what I mean? That's how it works. If it's too much, I feel like it's bad. If it's this is the, the right number, a good number. Some, somebody without Fallout first was trying to clear out space is what they're trying to do. So I'll put my other ammo in this box, see? It's, it, it all works out. I make room, I take, give and take. The goal is to give more than what you took. sell that jetpack. It's worth a lot of money. The plan. I could sell it for 1200 Worth like 3000 Alrighty. Hey there. Can I assist you hey there. Today? Keep all the grenades. Sell all this other flim flam. Isn't it cool how at first it seems like you're in a very tight spot, but after some finagling back and forth, Nice and clean and clear. Ready to exchange items. Nice and clean. I'll get rid of all the non-AP foods, all the meat as well. Well, I'm about to convert over to become a carnivore, but by the time I convert over, uh, now displaying current. Stop. Yeah. How about that? By the time I become. Uh, once I return to power armor, I'll become a carnivore then. So I have a, from now until then to get ready for that. Like a, a few more days. A few more days. Okay. Ready to initiate trading. I want the irradiated fancy lad snack cakes because I think they're used in a recipe, like I said. Alright. Instant mash, seafood. Goodbye. I use a lot of different ingredients. How can I assist you today? No problem. You there, check the uh, blue suitcase behind me. There's some garbage in it. Some garbage in the box. 
box of garbage. Ready to exchange items. All right, done. One more time over here. Blood packs, meh. Comex for somebody else. Somebody. So in this case, I'm on a public now, server. Somebody might be looking for different Sorry. drugs like that ah. to complete their junkie set. You have to have different addictions. So it's good for those people. But I I use certain drugs for myself, and Medix is used to make something. Ready. Overdrive or something? Like what Overdrive. Mm -hmm. I don't want the psycho buff. That's bad. Or buff I tap. But I want the buff out because that today. helps me make uh, fury. Buff out and psycho equal fury. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, and now I'll buy your junk with my money. If you have oil, I'll buy it, but if not, I'll just buy your steel. I know. Items. It's weird buying steel, but it all works out in the end. Alright, we're done here. Head back to my Camp Rooney. Hey! You will peruse my wares. You will spend your money, beasts. Peruse. Spend. Pay to win. Prove it. Buy my garbage. Let me turn on the ambiance for y'all. <laughs> that gets him out of there. See, I put the I put the flames on right there, right, so that they don't want to stand around. They want to do it and leave. Make your transactions and get the heck out of here. Peruse and buy. Help yourself to a nice cold soda before you leave. Right here in the machine. We got some alcohol and some candy here in the bowl. Oh yeah. Free soda right here. Alright. So now I have to kind of fix my overall build here. This is not going to be the PA. This is Icebreaker McGee. And this is going to become... Crafter... Mick Builds Man. But now we have to purge, purge, purge. Is there is there a purge button? Purge. <laughs> Purged. Alright. So Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we get too crazy here. Ah, I didn't actually purge it. That would have been really bad. Because I don't want to lose my uh, mutations. Let's just take off all of the offensive garbage from this little build here. So I'll take off one gun army, I'll take off bloody mess. I'll take off Action Boy. I'll take off Demo... Well, we need Demolition Expert to make grenades. Okay. Uh, I'll take off Batteries Included. I'll take off Stabilized. 
Nerd Rage. Ghoulish. Fireproof. Fire in the hole. Uh, I'll, I'll keep the carry weight perks. Pretty important. We'll see how that goes. So now, I need contractor. Fix it good. Weapon artisan. Chemist. Ammo smith. Super duper. I'll put this other stuff back on. Fireproof. Doesn't really matter. I'll put on my bobblehead perks. Okay. Ah. Uh, I guess I could put on serendipity. Hey there, Matt. Crafter McBuildsman to the rescue. I put on. I put on ghoulish. With whatever I have right now. I guess homebody. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Chemist, blah blah blah. Yeah, uh huh. One extra point to have fun. Don't need you. I'm sure I'll run into a into a wall very soon. I guess I'll, I'll three and one and two strength. So Crafter McBuildsman You get to have martial arts. Maybe. You're still gonna punch him. Martial artist also lowers the weight of melee weapons. Okay, so now this guy can repair anything. Let's go turn off the ambiance. It's a bit annoying. Okay, step one, I will repair. I would like a different outfit, you know. A different outfit for the Crafter McBuildsman, but... It's not that easy. I wish I could just... I, I wish you could have outfits and the favorite wheel. Or even your whole inventory. I know that's asking for a bit much. Attached to those builds. I know that's asking for a bit much. Okay. Okay. So now we're good to go. I, I would like a bit of... Ammo. Okay. Now we do have the ammo, ammo smith, but we don't have the ammo factory. I could keep ammo factory on. But where would that leave me? This build can definitely take the strength loss. Can the other build take the strength loss? Let's just find out. Every time I don't use Ammo Factory, I, I feel a pain in my chest. Yeah. Let's go check out my other build. Oh no, I'm not offering any trades. Okay, can you afford it? I feel like you can. Yeah. There's one. And... You can't lower per perception below one. You have to have one there.
Oh, 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 oh. The things I want to do. The things I want to do. I was thinking that I, I have the sizzling style perk here. That I maxed out like a fool. Providing 200 fire damage resistance when wearing a matching set of armor. That's what I was thinking. But I really wanted to put on the... Ah... Uh, Ammo factory. It helps. Okay. You produce like over double or something. So I was trying to see if I could make some wiggle room over here with my strength by clearing out some points from other regions. But I don't really think I can. I don't really think I can. So we just have to accept the fact that we can't have ammo smith on, okay? All right, so let's head on back over. This is Crafter McGillsman. There's everything set. Super duper flim flam, everything good to go. Yep. Don't you. I could just have my other dude, you know, I, I, yeah. I could just have this guy, this build, break down all the weapons but I have to get used to that I have to reach a point where I'm able to collect a bunch of weapons and put them to the side I guess maybe if I have all kinds of room in my inventory if I clear out 600 pounds for incoming items incoming items dropping off oh boy that's some training right there either way let's make some uh, 40 millimeter with my Available aluminium just love songs. and oil. This is really just to kill scorch beasts, and then I'll take my my steel, and I'll make about well, I'll turn the entire stack over. Two fifty-five. Sure. See, that would have been double if I had ammo smith on or ammo factory. Then I use my ammo converter. To convert the spikes over. It's so educational. I have more, right? No. Okay, so I have 5,000. So now I'll just make a bunch of 40 millimeter. Problem is you don't get much out of this because they weigh a lot. But it's okay. I'm just going to use all my ammo points here. As long as I only use the weapon sparingly, it's okay. So my plan is to use this weapon just on a Scorch Beast, pretty much. Or whenever there's convenient use for them. But whatever. And whenever I do fight a Scorch Beast, I'll be running around the field, killing all the enemies on the ground, and then shifting focus to the Scorch Beast at the end. Okay, so now I'll put my largest stack of whatever... Aha, Molotov cocktails. They are expensive. Ambiance, ooh. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I am Icebreaker McGee, right? I am. I am. And I have 278 of these bad boys. Cool. And I'll be eating a big old pal of something. Now, if I start shifting my focus over towards becoming a carnivore eventually. So, to feel that in the background, I'm going to be...
taking over more workshops. I have like no foods. Hey, Crafter McBuildsman. Make me some food. Hey there, Matt. Confuse the flower chief for that max AP. Oh, yeah. Or I guess I might as well enjoy being an herbivore just for a few more days before I convert over again. All right, here we go. Let's go around the map. I'll start off with this enclave event. Serious? I'm still crafting McBuildsman. All right. Well, I deserve that one. I deserve that one. Well, oh, pretty stupid. Let's move my McFungal Blarn camp over. Can you imagine? I'm still crafter McBuildsman after all that. Okay, I'll move McFungal Blarn right over here. because I have the ability to shift my build over. Which is what I'll be doing right now. Flam. Da, 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 da. Yes, Brayden. Thank you for asking. You're asking if there's any XP foods for carnivore? Yes. Tasty Squirrel Stew provides 25% just like Cranberry Relish and Broiled Scorch Beast Brain. Broiled Scorch, scorch Beast Brain. Which involves killing a bunch of Scorch Beast. It's the same thing as Brain Bombs. It's the same thing as brain uh, as brain bombs. It's eight intelligence if you're in a team. Strange in numbers. It's just uh, it's just a bit harder, you know. If you want to make a stack of brain bombs, it's essentially not that hard. It's actually very 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 easy. It's just about whether or not you have the uh, sugar bombs. And if you're doing a bunch of workshops, you should have a bunch of sugar bombs. You just go out there and get your eggs and you're good to go. But for the Scorch Beast Brain, the, uh, you know, the Broiled Scorch Beast Brain, that involves killing a bunch of Scorch Beasts, and then the brain will rot. And they don't really drop them all that often. I think it's like a 1 in 8 chance. I think it's like a, you, you feel like a die, you, you flip a die. But it's not one and two. Attention. I'll tell you that much. Attention. Temperature spike detected. 
User support requested. But if you're playing for a while and you're going around a bunch of Scorch Beast uh, fisher sites and you have the Butcher's Bounty on and you're doing it for a while, you're going to end up swimming in meat. Swimming in Scorch Beast meat. And you're going to have a stack of brains. And in fact, you're going to have more brains than, than what you can use. Yep. Because it lasts for an hour and a half, I'm pretty sure, the food. So if you if you avoid turning System all of the brains complete. into the boiled scorched beef brain, let's say that you have eight brains. Okay. You should maybe convert two of those over into the food, and then let the other ones kind of almost rot, and then you convert... Another one, and another one, and another one. Just think of it like this. The second you cook something, it reverts its condition bar. So if something was about to rot, you can cook it, and now it has full condition again. But if you cook everything all together, then everything will rot at the same time. So you kind of have to cook half. Yeah. I'm walking the floor over your face. Specified hostiles eliminated. Infestation cleared. Thank you for your Alrighty. participation. Let's go drop everything off. I just love songs. Don't yeah, it's just a whole different experience. Prepping to get ready for a large event or something with carnivore is a lot more work than prepping as a herbivore. As a herbivore, you have most of crops growing at your base, and you have to go out there and just get a couple things. Mothman eggs, cranberry, silt bean, some aster, some blight. There's some stuff that grows around, but you know where to get it. It's going to be there. You'll get a bunch. It's predictable. It's done. If you're a carnivore, you have to go around to a bunch of spots that might have Yagwai or Sheep Squatch. You know? A bunch of rad stag. Or you go to the spots and say, Where are all the rad stag? Even though you know where they are, but they're not there today. You're going around looking for these creatures, looking for some squirrels in like the seven spots where you know they might be. You find some, you, you rejoice because you have five squirrel pieces. But as a herbivore, you could make a huge stack of cranberry relish in a heartbeat. It's no big deal. It's gonna get your cranberry. So you might consider it to be far easier to be an herbivore. But is easy good? I like to say it's not. Check the map. a lot of aluminum. 33 aluminum. My goodness gracious. And now it's all covered, you see? So in reality, when it said 33, it was really just using half. See, now it's all green. Well, you can't see. Do you see how the numbers are all green because I use contractor? That means that I'm not using any of my resources compared to using some. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Big difference using none versus using a big old handful. <laughs> Handfuls add up if you're doing a bunch of workshops. All of a sudden you can't build something. I don't want to trade. Stop it.
I want to break line of sight of the base. Hey there, Jaime. Let's go. Hey look, it's a squirrel. See? Sometimes squirrels spawn on this hill, but not always. If I was a carnivore, I would come to this spot and then look for the darn squirrel. And say, oh look, yay, there's a squirrel. I don't have Butcher's Bounty on. I'm not going to kill him. I'll save them for somebody else. Alright, let's keep on going. We have to go down across the map, talk to the dude at the Clarksburg Shooting Club. See, I'm not in my farming build, and I feel weird even going through anywhere. You know? I don't have my perception perks on. I'm in my damage. My damage build. Hello there. I'm just wild about Jaime, and Jaime is wild about something else. You. Yeah. Welcome. I am not a customer. Bye. Those blasted paper targets. What are we going to do about it, huh? Shut them down. Shut them down. Juggle them in the air. Okay. There we go. Lakeside Grill. Hello. Come outside and have a party. Boom! See, that's why I don't like using explosives indoors. All the loot flies around. Pumpkin pie, thank you. I just ate it on the spot. That happened in one of these updates, you know. All of a sudden you could eat things and equip stuff. Like a real video game. Alright. So where does he want me to go? Hunt the Radstag, Flim Flam, talk the Roxy. But I am going down to Grafton to go take it over. Hey there, Jamie. I am now Icebreaker of the Power Patrol. Armor Ace. Armories. I'm now that guy. It's this outfit right here. The Power Patrol Fatigues. Huzzah! And I'm using this icon. And I'm using this skin. I can't wait to get that jacket. That thing is gonna be bomb. Oh no. There we go. And I have the uh, Armor Ace backpack skin from, I think, last season or the season before that. What? Okay. Liberty, your voice is strong. Armor Ace. Here we go. Liberty. And I have on the Santa Claus beard and the 3D glasses. Slap down this generator and call it a day. See, it's it's free. 
As you can see, if the numbers are green, it's free. You get that? If you don't use contractor, and if you build all kinds of crazy stuff a bit too much, then it's not free. If someone builds before you, then it's not free. Usually. Goodbye. Now I'm going to clear out this spot, break line of sight, and I'm gone. Enemies dying before I even show up. That's not cool. Let's go. There's a bunch of loot here. I'll be getting as I go right on through. Let me check out my build one more time. Okay, we're good to go. I'm a high jumper. And cue the music. Uh, uh, uh. Had to make sure he felt it before he died there. Right over here. You had some intense gameplay there without my face. We get close now, human. things you can do with a little bit of AP. I had to remember whether or not I had scrapper still on. Pretty sure I do. Hold my hand, hold my hand! Right over here. Double whammy. That was fun, huh? Let's make sure I have my Collectron down, huh? I don't. Hit that. That was a clean landing. So deceptive. That was a clean landing. I said, nope, you broke your ankles. Would 
Jiminy Cricket. Bye now. You there. Hail. You there, beast. Ah! <laughs> oh. Let's go check over the lakeside cabins. See, a long time ago, I had the power fist. A long time ago. That's probably at the, that was probably around the first Foshnacht. Yeah. Because I bombed it. I bombed it. I bombed the Foshnacht. I bombed the Foshnacht. Isn't it sad that I'm beginning to miss Foshnacht? See, whenever Foshnock shows up, I'm like, oh, great, Foshnock again? Jeez, but not really. Then after a bit, you start to miss the darn thing. I think the fact that it's the same thing every time, relatively. It's getting cooler, though, with the pacing and all that. Uh, like the song and everything. It, it does feel like a returning festival. Look at that red stack dough. Look at that red stack dough. It's right there. Look, it's a red stack dough. Look at that red stack dough. Bye now. Bye bye. Look at me hop. Look at me gallivant. I'm gallivanting. Ooh yeah. And they're off. Wow. Physics. Go, go, go! Oh my god, look at them go. And they all end up three in a row. Uh oh, you lose. Beautiful. Okay. Head on down to Wade Airfield Porch. Right on down to the Wade Airport. <sighs> but I would love to have cosmetics assigned to the perk slots. It'd be the best thing ever. Because I really feel like I'm, I'm using different characters, to be honest. Every time I swap out my perk, I say this guy, that guy. Terminology. We Let's wake him up, huh? Knock, knock. <laughs> oh, the echoes. Welcome to Echo ASMR.
Welcome to Echo ASMR. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so there's supposed to be a big patch coming out um, on the 27th or something like that, right? Isn't that true? Sometime towards the end of this month, a month there's a, there's a patch with some minor downtime. But it's just a bug update, fix update, behind the scenes update in preparation for the next big patch. It's like a prep patch for the next patch. But there's no real content. But they'll probably fix a couple things, like the tomahawk throwing weapon, uh, you know, not being able to make any throwing weapon thing. They'll probably fix that. What? Plus some other weird issues. There's been that weird audio bug, that horrible, horrible audio bug with heavy weapons. You know, where it just starts echoing on itself. Feedback loop. But the game has been running really, really smoothly. Which is wonderful. This is really a great game. Whenever it runs properly. Knock, knock. Welcome to the challenge board. Use photo mode in your own camp. Kill mole miners. Do all kinds of other funky stuff. Can't wait for that week to ro rotate around. Buy or sell to other players. Good. People are going to buy my garbage. See, people are going to buy from me. I'm not going to buy from them. I want to put everything away before I do anything else. Collectron. Come on. And while I'm here, I'll build this copper node. Light on top. Oh, yeah. Get the gun running. All green, you see? It's all about that greenness. I was just thinking, it's more about the lateral velocity. So I was thinking, even though the height ain't all that high between the last jump and this jump, if you're skimming across the ground at 40 miles per hour, and then you hit the ground, you'll still probably die. <laughs> I wasn't that high off the ground, but I was going really fast. <laughs> I'll just burning in there. <laughs> All right, 
Let's head on down to the air uh, to the junkyard. The boogie woogie man. You will buy my garbage. I will buy your flim flam. We we'll shake hands and break dance away. Coming in hot. You're supposed to do the PLF, you know? You're supposed to... Remember, I was airborne. Okay. I know how to do it. Parachute landing fall. I know how to do it. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. This one's never active, is it? The bot stop? This one's never active, and the one over there in Morgantown's never active. But one day... Can you imagine? One day? Oh, need some new clothes. I'm getting... <laughs> Tired of people complaining. Let's right, go kill this Grafton monster. Combat roll, combat roll. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go. We have no time to waste. Hurry up. The bad guys are watching and frothing at the, at the chompers. They're frothing. Gonna holler because I still got a dollar. Oh, I'm not gonna holler because I still got a dollar. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Alright. Trying to make my impression across the map in the name of Icebreaker.
All right. I don't like the fog. It's just a mist makes it harder to see. Stop complaining. It's a death sentence. <laughs> this is a good game. Stop complaining about the weather and stuff. I'm tired of it. Get out of here. Keep going, keep going. That's right. Pomeranian. She said, Come out. Are you afraid of me? I know you see me. Don't act. I think he's infected. I think it's infected, pal. It smell like human feces. Get out of here. I know you're still alive. I know you're still in there. You hear me? That's what you get. Now sit there and rot for a while. I'll come back and pick you up in a week. I'll water you. I'll give you some honey and stu stuff like that. You sit right there and think about what you did. You tell your people. Okay. All right, so I am heading on into Beckley. And doing my pre preliminary map flimflams of the map. I'll tell you what, having my coffee right in front of the fan ain't the best idea. It gets ice cold right away. Uh. I'm blind. You ever go blind for a second after you stretch? Get back here. Climb the tree. Doing lots of hard landings here. Yeah. And before I leave, I have to quickly get this oil online. You see, as you can see here, remind me to turn my camera back on, but you see, it's all green. The resources are green, green, green. Uh-oh, it's white. Uh-oh. Hey, look, it's green. You see that? Certain resources. That? Boom. Right? I, kn I, know, I know you know. I know you know. Look, see? Green. Green. 
Green. Green. See, this entire base filled with free. But if I build other things, it might be more expensive. It really adds up. You start building a bunch of uh, larger generators that you don't need and stuff like that. Nah, I mean. Nah, I mean. Nah. I mean. Hurry up. Let's travel right on down to the Federal Disposal Field. I don't have my build set to do all my intense looting. My bobblehead finder, all that garbage. That's my other build. We're not really ready for all that. Yeah. Thank you for catching me. Thank you. Such puny kids. This is what you meant. Isn't it beautiful? Here we go. Got a raid. It's just in sets of five levels, you know. Every five levels, I'm looking forward to the next five levels. So I can get those perk packs, so I can then hope to get all the perks I need to have any sort of versatile build I want, which is great over time, you know. I think purging myself and then re-earning the, the perks is really important because I've already had my initial exposure to them when I got them a long time ago, like a year or whatever ago. And now, after playing the game forever, I can get them again and really reincorporate them. But if I already had them all, I would only use the stuff I knew worked. Right. Okay. Right there. Boom. Get my oil down. Boom. It's all green. Remember, that's important. Contractor makes it all green. You can build... I built all this stuff right here. This is a lot of stuff, sort of. And it's all free. Let's get the heck out of here. Concrete. 
Take that, you punk. You big old horrible flying flim flam. Stop twitching. Teardrops for one flim, too much crying. Drop off any legendaries I might have. And move on. And now we get to do the abandoned box. Well, let's do the abandoned box in just a bit. In just a tiny bit, okay? Let's go do the gorge junkyard. Uh, well, I have 47 caps. What? That's crazy. That is just crazy. Look at all this hopping around I'm doing. So, let's go back over here to the Grafton Steel Yard with my fast travel for free. And I'll do the dam. There's the Grafton Dam. You have the Mad Doc Malone daily little event thing. Yeah. Get some caps out of it in the end. That cost me something. That cost eight aluminum to bring that vertebot back online. But guess what I can do? Check out this. Check out this. Oh yeah, if you're not impressed, you will be. You will be. You will be. Here we go. Look at what I can do. Attention, this is the warden of Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Mad Dog Malone is on the loose. This infamous criminal is Check it out. his leash. I need all armed citizens to surround Grafton Dam and apprehend this fellow. Be sure to take him alive. I intend to make an example of him for all the other prisoners. My marshals will take care of transporting him back here. Distraction. <laughs> Are you distracted? <laughs> we'll go around the building. Everybody came outside. That was fun. Thank you, Vertibot. Very nice. Thank you, Vertibot. Thank you. We go back home now. You go back home now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Got my shooting targets. That's important. Break down everything.
Okay, I'll swap this back out for Molotovs. Alright, that's all done. Cool. There's mutants over here, so let's go clear out hemlock holes for a second. The mutants will have caps. I'll get some credit for completing the retake event as well. And I'll go out there and see if the Gravestone Monster is available. Wow. Yeah, they're serious, huh? Sir? I will now repair everything. That cost a bit of aluminum right there. Let's go find the Grafton monster. Let's see if he has respawned yet. I believe he has. Hop straight down for nine caps, no big deal. Oh yeah, Chris. Oh yeah. I am now Icebreaker using my power fist. Oh no, if you saw earlier, I got this power fist here. Fast, fast attack speed, suppressors. Got this build going on. Doing things sort of new situation. I'll be doing this for another week or so. Or a couple more days until I get the other skin for the T-65. Okay. Crazy. Down the hill I go. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, it, it is a great camp spot back there. That little gas station. You can still have your camp there, even if the bad guys spawn. Sort of. I've had a bunch of camps where the bad guys spawn there. It just becomes weird every so often. Ugh. Yeah, see, in this case... Uh, somebody else built a bunch of stuff here before me. So, it's going to cost me a bit more resources to build what I want to build. But I'll do it anyways. Open up, flim flam, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go do this uranium fever event.
Uranium fever is messing up my face. With a Geiger counter in my hand, going up to take some government land. Uranium fever is messing up my face. I have come to assist you. Every now and then I do some stuff if I fail. Oh, my radiation was too high. Radiation was too high. Extraction complete. 
Extractors must complete cleaning and ventilation process before continuing operation. Thank you. Please vacate. Urban Scout Armor. Sorry, that workbench is currently in use. Check out my durability. We are okay. Well, I guess I could repair again. I guess I could repair one more time. I think we're just under two, uh, 100%. And I think I can go ahead and just insert a quick daily up, because why not? Trying to break the ice. It's just an uplink version. It means nothing. Holy Communion. The Kanahua Church. Alright. Three, two, one. Let's jam. Let's see if I if I have anything to eat. Corn soup, whatever. Uh so again I'll, I'll be doing it again, alright. This time, as you see, I'll be my goal is to, to work with line of sight breaks so if the if the enemy doesn't get to me. I'm trying to get the enemy to come to me. This is a see the resilient modifier for the daily op can only be killed by melee. So I have to make sure that the enemies aren't all the way across the world. In this in. daily op, this is Dodge. you have Cross to defend a point. The if you move too far, the I'm timer doesn't progress. So I have to go all the way over here. Work until the signal repeater's been repaired. That's priority one. Get moving. So my goal is to kind of break that outside and wait. Now the cool thing is you can go all the way around this corner yeah. and still be within the range. Take them out. See? I'm just going to be here for a bit. Gonna be here to let the entire group collapse upon me. Okay. I'm gonna enter the room again. Right over here is where I wanna go. They're certainly giving me a lot of grenades. Not like it matters. Uh... 
Kids, go back over here to have them move forward. Move back over here for a second. Sure the door is closed. I'll make sure that this door is closed as well. It'll force the enemies to walk towards the door. I'm gonna wait right over here. And just wait. Very men's hat, fury stacked on top of it. I want them to move forward. to them right there, you see him? We want them to enter the room. this room as well. It's very helpful to be all gathered up. I'm about to run. Attack with the bottom and go right back up. Hail Looks Julie. Like trouble, all right. And hail. Clean this area out. Let's see what they're hiding. Perfect. Take them out. Keep an eye on 
these uplinks. Head on home, team. Yay. Oh, the Delhi Ops yesterday? Uh, what was it yesterday? Uh, it was brutal, Misty? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the Burning Mine, uh, Mothman. Oh, so check out my new build. I'm now, I'm now Icebreaker. I'm Icebreaker McGee. <laughs> is my full title. Icebreaker McGee. And now I'm focusing on this Power Fist. I was able to get myself a Power Fist. I was grinding the Purveyor for a little bit. Uh, and I, I finally chose to go for a three star. And the last three star I went for was a Suppressors, which is good in this case. Hey, Suppressors is pretty good because it keeps them from, from killing me, right? Yeah. Faster uh, attack rate and damage resistance while power attacking, which is nice. It's kind of slower. And all that and I shifted my build over so now I'll be using the power fist grenades a little bit a little bit not as much as in power armor uh, yeah so the power fist the auto grenade launcher and the missile launcher but I'm not gonna be crafting any missiles on purpose I'm gonna let the missiles come to me missiles are everywhere they're in the walls you'll see three on the shelf you know And I can craft the grenade, uh, the grenade rounds because if I'm primarily melee, killing Scorch Beast is kind of a problem. But if I'm already using Demolition Expert because of the uh, thing, th that works out. And I shifted my perks back over. So now I, I, I sort of want to keep Master Infiltrator on. And I, I want to keep Funky Duds on even though it's lower level. This is all you really need to stay, stay alive. But these perks are pretty darn important for melee. Whatever. This is what I have going on over here. I'm using Nuka Cola Dark because of that Collectron, but Party Boy and Cola Nut for that. Of course, Incisor, Martial Artist, Blocker, whatever. Ordnance Express because of all the grenades and the 40mm grenade rounds weigh a lot. Whenever I have a build where I'm killing things quickly with vats, like with melee, if I'm one-shotting everything already, then I feel like it's necessary to use Grim Reaper Sprint because then I'll get AP back all the time. And I said I'm not going to be using power armor until I get the skin for the T-65. Let's turn my other camp back on. Okay, we have the Clarksburg Shooting Club. Let's go do a retakes really quick. We'll just take a second. We have a bunch of these flim flams all set up. We'll just take a moment for free. Let's do a couple. Spend your money! <laughs> See, I used to do that where I'd have a map with X marking the spot of my camp. My camp is near the purveyor. Spend your money. And the way I've been working is... Uh, Whenever it's time to, time to do the Razor Green Farm, I'll only use the Turbo Fort Fertilizer grenades that I've collected. So basically, I'll be basing the timing of the Turbo Fort, uh, of the Razor Green Farm on the number of Turbo Fort Fertilizer grenades I've gathered. So one time over 20 or so. Done here. Go straight on down. I don't want to uh, put the lead up online yet. I don't need the lead that much. That much. 
that much. So, whenever I'm doing a decryption, the Vampire's Gauss minigun is what I'll be using. That thing keeps me alive. Thank you, friend. Aha! Going to be a good fight. That's right. More rats around here somewhere. Very mint ass time. Check the map, okay. There's one still alive somewhere. Or two. Or two. I like the attack pattern of this thing. It's pretty crispy. That's why I wanted the faster attack speed. <laughs> okay, moving on, rawhide. Vacuum tubes are here. Crazy. I just want to clear out all these workshops really quick. Easy peasy. Get my small amount of honey. I think it'd be important if I bought a pack of small timers. I visualize it now. If I had a, a pack of like little timers, like little LCD timers about that large, and I attached them to the side of my monitor, <laughs> I would like to have like seven of them. Because I need individual timers for certain things. For certain workshops for the honey. are you burger boy see that who the heck is that guy I don't like it I don't like it one bit no sir right, let's go back to my camp
riding shotgun, wow. I would love to have a ton more cosmetic themed base building objects of every different variety. I think there's, you know, if I had a bunch of armor ace base building objects to be fantastic, a bunch of Brotherhood of Steel, Mothman, different things. But I think it's smart how Bethesda's doing it, where they're releasing a little bit at a time, different categories. You end up buying a bit of everything, besides just what you quote unquote wanted. See, this is the only real object that is that wide, that long. There's there's other things like it, but this is pretty unique until they released the plane. Now you have the big plane object, which is even longer, you know? A couple different things that serve the same purpose of a different theme. Okay, let's make sure I sell a couple of them plans. We're at 1078. Okay. Ooh, exploding assassins 50 cal. 3000. I'll pull out all this armor. Maybe. Let's sell a couple things. <sighs> See, I pulled a few uh, power fists over, but I ended up not needing them, so I could probably sell them for a decent amount of money, even though they don't have faster attack speed because there's a skin available for the power fist so now there's an increased demand for power fists. <sighs> Alright. I'm so excited. I have a hard time hiding how I feel about these things. To the point where I might just lose all control but you know what? I think I like it. I'm sorry. I sell these things to the people. If they want my stuff, they can have it. I like how she said the word stew. I enjoy it. Instigating pipe wrench with limb damage, I don't know. Ghoul Slayers, faster fire rate, plasma flim flam, I don't know. Furious pickaxe with faster attack rate, I don't know. Faster swing speed, something or other. Uh oh. Okay. about to give away this garbage right over here what you gotta do every so often I'll be giving away some of my flim plants one fifty well hey at least a reset you're gone you're gone Start by value. Hey, that, that item right here has weapon rate reduction, so I might give this to my other character. In fact, I will be giving this to my other character. If my mules... If my extra characters that I, I have designed to hold extra items have weapon rate reduction, then they could hold more items. Yeah. Alright, let's meander over here. Gotta constantly do the upkeep. Now, displaying current stop.
I just plan on every so often using a bunch of random grenades, you know, that's all. Sort everything by spoilage, get rid of all the meat. Ready to initiate trading. Mr. Mash, I'm going to move you up. Goodbye, How random alcohol. I, assist you today? I keep that stuff at the bottom, just in case. Just in case. So, as usual, get rid of my Radex. Torped by nothing. Stim pack. Look at all these stim packs I get all the darn time. 30 more. 21 Ready more of these. You see, items. you have to have stuff to get stuff. It's out there in the wild, in the high level content. A lot of enemies drop. All kinds of goodies, but if you have nothing, it's hard to it's hard to even survive for a little bit in these areas. If you have nothing going in. You know. Now displaying current stock. Daddy O is gone. Keep all the mods. And I'll buy some junk. I'll buy the nothing. Initiate trading. I'll get rid of a couple things. Oh, people have a bunch of I people don't know how to play the game. Look at the, see, there's a bunch of actual items in here. If it was one thousand items, I wouldn't take it. If it's a couple items, there you go. You know. As for the fusion cores, I'll take these full fusion cores, just two of them, and nothing else. It's worth by nothing. If they have missiles, I'll take them, but not. Now I'll add the rest of my ammo in the box. See how that works? Give and take, give and take. I'll keep the fuel. Perfect. Put some extra plans in here. Raider jetpack, I'll take that. Put everything else away. Yeah. If I have any gunpowder, I'll put that away. Sort by weight. The gold dollop of that. Wonderful. Make sure we break everything down. Yay, one step closer. Gotta get cleaned up every so often, you know? Put away these other legendaries. I think I'll equip those plasma grenades. Save that item for later. Save these fusion cores for later. The fuel for later. Those other plans. Be more of these. Short by weight. Key cards. Aluminum. All this ore. Keep the scrap kit. Stealth Boy gets put away. Alright. I'll store these medexes if I could. Doesn't really matter. Mentats. The buff out. Those are all ingredients. Okay, we're done there. I'll do one little swipey cleany poo. Make sure the weapons are repaired. They are. See, I'm gathering a bunch of that turbo for fertilizer. Let me let me lock this. Collecting fun is what I do. I find party so 
There's two locks. One is for the console here, the terminal. A person could change what you're getting to some trollish item without you noticing. Okay. Hey there, Yasmin. You got something for me? Let's go. Let's talk about cooking, baby. Let's talk about taking a shower. Sure thing. Let me get out my notes for you. You're nasty. They add some flavoring. Silt bean puree. Steeped black blood leaf. Sure. It gets me eating foods I don't normally eat. Bye bye. See if I can stock this up. Oh wow. Somebody took all my nuka colas. Let's stock it back up. I don't care. I don't care. Take my nuka colas. I'm wealthy. I'm offering them to people. If they want to take my cola, so be it. I think it'd be much cooler if a person had to... It feels a straight vending machine for Nuka Cola. And it costs a little cap fee. And it had like a little animation attached to it. Like a discreet vendor for a specific item. You know, of a stack. Right? It'd be cool if, uh, if kegs worked that way as well. Like you could fill up a stein or something. Hey there, friend. Hey, and welcome. Please peruse my wares and spend your money, beast, 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 beast. Freshly stocked Nuka Cola here. If you want some, yeah. How you doing? Stock candy bowl and punch bowl. I'll put some wine in here. Pickaxe, pilsner, and wine. Might as well. What up there, Mark? Don't forget to grab a soda before you leave. Yeah, right over here. I'll put all the other alcohols right over here. The beer. That's so cool. Done. Awesome, 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 awesome. currently have a bunch of workshops taken over but I can take over more and I will take over more I didn't take over this stuff over here I didn't want to make too much of an impression on the map just yet I was just trying to go around and test my build out and see how things are flowing Sweet potato stew. Have you ever seen the rain?
You're bored? That's cool. If you're looking for something in particular as far as apparel would always spawn the same spot, I think a few things rotate out, but I think some things always spawn the same spot. Like the, uh, like in the Thunder Mountain area, there's always a welding mask on the, on the shelf there. Some spots rotate, like I said. Like right over here in the Firebase LT, there's random Brotherhood of Steel bottoms and tops. There's like a, uh, there's like a helmet up on the shelf and a bottom. It could be a lab coat. It could be the fatigues or whatever. And like the nurse, ro the nurse outfits rotate out and the hats rotate out. That's why there's random things and rare things, you know. So some things aren't always in the same spot. Some things are. Over here in the Dabney homestead up on the second floor of the barn, there is the farmhand clothes. Always there. Always, always, always. So some things are, some things aren't. If it's like a common item, vaguely, like, I used to always wear the farmhand clothes because it has a flowing trench coat, and it looks pretty cool. But some spots always have the stuff, like there's always a chef hat in Fred's barbecue or whatever, right? You're bored, Mark. You're bored, Mark. You're bored. Do you play Fallout 76? That'll ease your boredom. Look at action packed. You came in the middle of an upkeep section. Uh, session. I just went out there and did a bunch of stuff. I just took over a bunch of workshops like I showed you. And never came back and repaired, restocked the vendor, sold some stuff, did the scripting, all kinds of goodness. And they're about to go back out there to go take over more workshops, go smash to more bad guys. Alright. In the meantime, behold this list of things to do in Fallout 76 as read by my deep fake voice clone. That's right, I have a deep fake voice clone. That's right. The voice you're about to hear is a non human robot voice. So, behold. Craft legendaries with modules, sell to NPC vendors, daily quests, workshop conquest, lucky hole mine, power plants, farm fusion cores, public events, XP run, toxic goo harvest, rebuild camp, move camp, repair armor, repair weapons, craft ammo, lift weights, sleep, play music, stock refrigerators, stock vendors, transfer items between characters, bury mintat run, dump caps at vendor if over 20,000, US requisition holotape, Garahan Building Farm, Reputation Root Farm, Iron or South Ash Heap, Multiply Crops at Workshop, Purified Water at Workshop, Tanagra Town Crickets, Faction Dailies, Spend Gold, Razor Grain Flower Farm, Scorch Beast Farm, Grafton Monster Farm, Sheep Squatch Farm, Convert Ammo at the Ammo Converter, Deep Club Farm, Snallagaster Farm, Tarberry Farm, Flatwood Silt Bean, Check keyword status. Nukes and Dingo Colossus for a cursed weapon. Sugar Run. Nuka Cola Farm. Concrete. Late at Monorail. Abandoned Bog Town Secret Floor. Farm Mole Miners for Aluminum. Top of the World Aluminum Farm. Ski Poles. Enclave Code Piece. Keycard Search. Somerville Bookhouse. Watoga High School Plastic Farm. Kim Farm. Enclave Events. Wood Farm. Dogwood Farm. Smelt Ore. Smelt Spoiled Vegetables and Fruit. Cook Food Close to Spoiling. Mirelurk Egg Farm. Mothman Egg Farm, Nuka Cola Factory Farm, Sunshine Well Farm, Daily Ops, Get a High Bounty by Picking Locks, Lure Player to Camp with a High Bounty to Force Vendor Transactions, Hunt Down Wanted Players, Honey Farm, Convert Perks into Coins, Purchase Lunch Boxes with Gold, Harvest Flux from a Legitimate Nuke, Purchase Gold with Treasury Notes, Purchase Gold with Caps from Smiley, Stock Nuka Cola Vending Machine, Candy Bowl and Punch Bowl, Refine Camp and Workshop Blueprints, Craft legendaries with modules, sell to NPC vendors, daily quests, workshop conquest, lucky hole mine, power plants, farm fusion cores, public events, XP run, toxic goo harvest, rebuild camp, move camp, repair armor, repair weapons, craft ammo, lift weights, sleep, play music, 
Stock refrigerators. Stock vendors. Transfer items between characters. Berry mint at run. Dump caps at vendor if over 20,000. U.S. requisition holotape. Garahan building farm. Reputation root farm. Iron or south ash heap. Multiply crops at workshop. Purified water at workshop. Tanagra town crickets. Faction dailies. Spend gold. Razzergrain flower farm. Scorch beast farm. Grafton monster farm. Sheep squatch farm. Convert ammo at the ammo converter. Deathclaw farm. Snallagaster farm. Tarberry farm. Flatwood silt beam. Check keyword status. Nukes Findingo Colossus for a cursed weapon. Sugar Run. Nuka Cola Farm. Concrete. Late at Monorail. Abandoned Bog Town Secret Floor. Farm Mole Miners for Aluminum. Top of the World Aluminum Farm. Ski Poles. Enclave Code Piece. Keycard Search. Somerville Bookhouse. Watoga High School Plastic Farm. Chem Farm. Enclave Events. Wood Farm. Dogwood Farm. Smelt Ore. Smelt Spoiled Vegetables and Fruit. Cook Food Close to Spoiling. Yep, all that stuff. And a shanty in an old shanty town. Okay, rock on. Straight to the abandoned bog town. Plan attack and music turns on. It's all about that AP. Strong, the music doesn't turn on. It's pretty much once you break stealth. Thank you. In this case, I want the missiles. Normally, I'll be avoiding them. Right now I'm using two pieces of bolstering, three pieces of immunity. I'm gonna make a wide swing here, there's a bear trap right there. Crouch. Power attack. I'll break it all down really quick. I have a lot of weight though. A lot of room. See, that gunpowder starts to weigh a lot over time. You gotta purge it. Stuff here. Perfect. Look at head wood show up. I'd rip his legs clean off. Wish granted. I'll take over this workshop. I'll leave that human. Flaming the workshop. And I'm looting in the process. Let me get all this loot here. Maybe a bunch. Every time I come through. Feels good having master, master infiltrator always on. Always on. Right up in here. Did you know that I get a passive income just by doing this garbage every day of my life?
Thank you. Awesome. Right away. Caps galore. That's the human. Okay, now I'll quickly put on contractor. Remember, I'm very vulnerable right now. Other players can kill me. It'll be all my fault. Not their victory, my loss. That's it. You know? Come on. It's like saying, if you go outside without a sweater, you might catch hypothermia. Did the cold win? You don't pat cold on the shoulder. The heck? For freezing you, it's just what happens. Let me get the heck out of here. on down to the Blake's offering area. Oh my gosh. After the general stack house. It's a cool place and they say it gets colder. You're bottled up now. Wait till you get older. But the media men beg to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. The ice we skate is getting pretty th thin. Water's getting warm, so we might as well swim. Oh yeah, no oh, one else on fire. I love yours. That's the way I like it, and I'll never get bored. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. I was going to go down here to Blake's Offering, but it didn't let me fast travel. So I was forced to go down here to the General Stack House. And I accepted it as fate. So I chuckled to myself. Saying, I guess I have to go here then. And I realized it's probably a pretty good route because a bunch of bad guys and everything and it's what I have to do. And I accepted it as my new route. My new pathway. We were just talking about apparel earlier, and I was talking about this spot right here, and I wanted to demonstrate it. So I guess we'll be doing that anyways. Bad guys are spawning right over there. Oh, and that dude over there bought my item. The Grey Ghost 1944 dude bought my crowd bench seats for like 7,000 or something like that. I just made a bunch of money. See, I'm at 9,998. Someone just bought my garbage. I 
think I sold my crab and seeds for like 8,000, but then the tax came in and lowered it down. Hey, look at that. Bam. I do bought my bloodied spear for like 8,000. <laughs> see, now I'm at 17,000. You see? Eh, 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 eh. Every so often I make a couple sales. It was a bloodied spear with faster attack speed. It's pretty good. It's a unique weapon. Pretty amazing, actually. It's worth about that much. Perhaps even more. We have survived. Cool. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Dot org. Oh, Misty, you're looking through your m mules for awesome oddball weapons like a crazy old spear. It's no big deal. You know, last two times I tried doing that, I died. Let's not do that. Long drop down the hill. Because I think what happens is it doesn't care about how high you are above the ground. It cares about your initial takeoff point and your drop off point. So if, if I did this, I think. Did you hear that? See, if I land way over there where it's a bit higher, I won't die. It cares about that height to this height, but if I landed way over there in a lower spot, even if I'm like a little bit above the ground, I think it still counts as, as being elevated. You have to kind of make contact again to reset the drop point. There you go. So as you're moving through terrain, you have to kind of make contact to reset your elevation. Otherwise, the game thinks that you're at some weird elevation based upon dropping off the top of that building perhaps or jumping off of that you know if you jumped off of that and then you skidded around the field hovering off the ground like this high off the ground you might die even from that drop because it, it's counting from up there perhaps I'm trying to figure this thing out over time That was a close one. Check the map. Good to go. That was a big old close one.
Hey, the farmhand clothes are always here. Contract run, did I? I get the heck out of here. Get to completely break line of sight. through Berkeley Springs. Where's this picture taken at? Anybody know? First person to tell me where that picture was taken at gets a golden zagnut. I'll describe it. A bobblehead on a roof next to a skeleton. Drop this off. Since I'm here, I'm gonna stop by the vendor really quick. in the area. Hey there, friendo. It's time to meet the Muppets. Let's go. I'll describe more. A bobblehead on a roof next to a skeleton in a spot where mutants consistently spawn. That should help. That should help. I think. I know you want that Zagnus. I know you want that Zagnus. In a spot where mutants spawn. Doesn't matter. I know. That's all that really matters. Hey, look, 10 oil. Yes. See, ever so often. Ever so often, it works out. These vendors, you gotta check them. Oh, that was a good one. I'll be buying Flim Flam as I travel around, just like a real vendor. You don't know? I'll give you a hint. We can see it. The, the location is clearly in this in this portion of the map. It's on the roof, next to a skeleton, in a spot where mutants consistently, regularly, always spawn. When you get there, there's like a dog in the parking lot. There's a dog in the parking lot and a mutant then you go hop on the roof, and there's there's two mutants up there, maybe three sometimes, right? And then right there in the corner, there's a bobblehead next to a skeleton. You can keep on going on that away to another building with more mutants, or you can go into the current building, and then while you're there, you can farm some phones. Oh, Leslie, there you are. You can farm some telephones, huh? Go around. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yep, again, it's it's one of these buildings. I'll, I'll show you. I'll give you some options. It's either the National Isolated Radio Array. And I think it might be that one, personally. Or West Tech, or Huntersville. It could be Emmett Mount Disposal Field. Or maybe the Blackwater Mine, or East Mountain Lookout, or the National Radio Astronomy Research Center, or Site Alpha. But, yeah... I want you to double down on your answer. Give me your final answer. I, I, I want your final answer, and then I'll give the... The array. Fine. I've never called it the Array. So, I'll, I'll give you a partial Zagna. I know what you meant, you know what I meant, you called it the Array, sure. We'll stick with the Array. So here's your Zagna. There you go. Let's hurry up and take over this bad boy and move across the map. We have things to do. Enough of this flim flam. Are we all awake now? Yeah. There you go. Behold! So I highly recommend the game called Dance Central for the Oculus. It might be for the Quest. Let's hurry up. That's what I was doing with that Zagnet. I was standing amongst a crowd of virtual people and they were cheering me on. They were cheering me on as I was getting it down. Breaking it all apart. Okay. We're hopping on down across the map towards the Dolly Sods Wilderness. And maybe I'll try to hit up the Sons of Dane compound for the One Violent Night public event. I gotta make sure to do what I can do. All the time, in that right. John Madigan. I'm running. I'm running. Don't you die on me. <laughs> you don't think it did the voice? That's good. That's good. That's good! You don't think you did the voice, huh? Uh, 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 no.
Well, I know it's doing it now. Uh, but, yeah. So, next time, I'll make sure... I'll make sure that it works next time. And that might... John Madigan. Huh? Yeah, that's right. I'll stand here for a second. Yeah. I had to turn down the audio because I don't want to hear myself. I had to hit the button to make it work. So next time it's going to work. Next time. But not right now. Right now it's not going to work. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, it sucks when I when I think the voice changer is working and I'm acting like it's working, but it's not working, and you have no idea why I'm talking that way. That sure sucks. Make it rain on him. Whoa. Ain't that right, John Madigan? Who needs a voice changer anyways, huh? Who needs a voice changer anyways? Those schmucks without human voices? Born without voice boxes and lower jaws? Running? I have such a fear of losing all my flim flam. Okay, and now I go down. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. And now I go down. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. So, I know you all. I know that you're. Y'all are waiting for that Ruby Ski video. This is Dane Rogers with an automated alert. An unknown dangerous creature has been sighted in the vicinity of the Sons of Dane compound. This thing's been attacked. I've in come. A Dane beer house have no worries. I've come to assist you. We call it the Night Stalker. It's killed some of our best guys. Paulie says the loud music is what's pissing it off. So we can make a ruckus to draw here and set up an ambush. Hell, some beast Play with me. in our good time. So Play with me. Play with me. Yes, Raven, I believe. Play some music. I know you want them kills. I'll play some music for a bit. You get your your attacks in, pal. Yeah. Don't mind me. Hey there, Jerry. How's it going? Yeah, but well, Togo used to be a, a horrible, scary place. I should play the music for a second. Yeah, well, Togo used to be a horrible, scary place. Until do that one quest. I think you should have to do that quest every day. Don't you think? But maybe you should be like the first maybe the mayor becomes like a PvP target. And 
and only the mayor isn't vulnerable. Sort of like a mega version of the uh, like a mega version of the monster mash with the entire city. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. See, I was trying to give you some XP there. For this mission, I have to use this fist weapon here. Funny weapon to use, ain't it? Hail, Jared. Don't turn it off, you scumbag. All these chumps turning garbage off. Back together. 
Oh no. Play with me. We got the banjo and the, and the mouth harp over there. Here we got loot in the back first before going in the building, yeah? That's a good excuse to use up all my missiles. See? Some public events are a good excuse to use up a bunch of grenades. Like uranium fever or something like that. Let me go down to the basement over here. There'll be something down here for me. I will do the daily up right now. Because my teammate gave me like 15,000 caps. <laughs> oh yeah. The game is like, hey, remember back when you used the same weapon that you're currently using a long time ago, like two years ago? Hey. Get over here! Yep. Noob! What are you doing? Level 5, five million. Not fighting the Rangers. Break line of sight! Stop shooting them.
Bravo. Let them come to you. You gotta break the line of sight and let them come to you. Shoot me does absolutely Stop shooting them, you brand new dude. You gotta break the line of sight and let them come to you. You gotta break the line of sight and let them come to you. Times. Ten times. Perfect. stuff and get rid of it all. It's a gift to other players. Alright. Five minutes more than meets the eye. Treasury notes. Assassin's lead pipe. And another treasury note. And an extra treasury note.
cold coffee, American style. I can't wait to get DoorDash again. Those are good times. Good times are, are when I'm rolling deep in DoorDash. McDangles. Alright, where the heck am I? See, I guess it doesn't really matter as long as you have enough teammates. You, you can kind of have a person killing stragglers. You know, I shouldn't be yelling at him because it doesn't really matter. It's like a difference between like one minute if you're already going to get within eight minutes. If it's soloable. money. We'll go through here and loot a bit more. A few things. And I guess I'll go up the hill to get the wood while I'm in the area, you know? I don't have my looting perks on though. Check her out. No big deal. There you go. I have a lot of money right now. A whole lot. Fine these days. Yeah, either the chemist or the grocer's backpack mod lets you get a little bit more freedom in either strength or agility because it clears up traveling pharmacy or through hiker. But they're both good. You get the grocer's backpack mod from the Settlers in the chemist backpack mod from the Raiders. I think I'm using the groceries right now. I am in the area. No it adds up. Hey, look at that. Do that you stay right by me through to the very end. But you walked out on me. What else could you be but a fair weathered friend? What's your question there, Chris? You can fly with a with a jetpack.
What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about? Come to, to assist you. Using the ingredient containers spread around the factory. Huh? The machines make a hell of a racket, so you'll probably get some unwanted guess. Don't you let it be. be. Much though. Baseball. Horrible retake events. Oh, wait, the event's no longer active? What? Anyways, let's go knock out what we gotta knock out. Let's go back to Clarksburg. Let's hurry up. Limited to three cans of beer done there. Let's consider that. Oh, it's not done. I could be brave. I could be very brave and fight these mutants. And by brave, I mean it's basically uh, survival mode here. Other players can kill me. They can attack me. Wave complete. Got 
off at all. I gotta be careful though, because someone took my kill yard. But sometimes it's a mistake, you know? Sometimes people accidentally take over your workshop. Look at him run. I heard someone talk for a second, and it scared me. We good now? Yes. Well, let's not reclaim just yet. Let's go back through and go back through my other workshops really quick. Hey there, Evan. Nice to have you back. Doing quite well these days. I'm stronger and stronger than ever before. Yes. Safe as long as those creatures are still alive. Why can't I do it? There it goes. It, w it wouldn't let me use my melee. But now I can. I'm just trying to clear out these retake events. Quest log is too full. We're trying to quickly clear it right out before doing anything else. And I'll do public events in between. So exciting. Clear up my quest log, clear up my quest log, let's go. What is that? What is that? I'll come back to that. I couldn't click on it in time, I don't want to get killed. 
It's all about hopping around the map right now. And I'm getting my honey, if I remember. And the items in my Collectron. And my Turbo fer Fertilizer. I'm safe here as long as those enemies are, st are still here. Got some aluminum here. Once I clear this out, I have to do a full repair. There you are. There you are. Done. No. Right. Do a full repair. Up behind the building and keep on building around. Beckley Mine Exhibit. I think I have oil there. Yeah. Hey, look, it's Misty. Hiding behind the thing. I was taking secret photos of her. <laughs> gunfire out there, you know. Could mean a player is coming. Alright. And now I will be doing a full repair if I could. Alright. I'm going to break line of sight. Yeah. Trying to clear out all these events here from the map. Ten seconds on that fast travel, go. Right now. I have to spend this money I have. I have a lot of money. And I need to spend all of it on junk. Yeah. And it's so much easier. It's, it's actually pleasurable. Now. It's so much easier. Now. Oh my god. With the batch crap. Come on, Ghoulie. Let's go. I'm going to make them all chase me. that garbage and you know it yay perfect but there should be one ghoul left remaining Right over here somewhere. Alright. Cool. 
do this gold poor horde. Do the gold poor horde, baby. Here we go. One, two. Doing gold poor horde for you. A bunch of enemies and a legendary to boot. I like to spend whatever missile, I, whatever missiles I have during public events or whatever. Let's yeah. I was gonna tell my teammates that the three star. Suppressor to my build here. I think it'll kind of fit my build. You might not have gotten this dude. Okay. Now let's go for the honey. Former raider just Not hanging out, doing anyways. nothing. Trying to clear out these events on my map here. Up and around. It's so wonderful. You see, yes. Yes. Because normally I find it annoying to have my quest log too full. It starts to obscure the gaming screen here. It starts to get kind of ugly. It starts to overlap my AP and all that stuff. You can't see what's going on. So I go out of my way to uncheck all the press. But instead of unchecking, how about I just do the darn stuff? Just do it. And that gives me that extra uh, endorphin release of happiness upon completion. I get whatever rewards I get, but it's a smooth, awesome feeling of uh, decongestion. I almost died. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Check the map for the player because I'm over encumbered. That's not good. Let's hurry up. I just love songs. See, after a while, once I have like 20 or more. Triple for fertilizer grenades, that's whenever I do the razor green flower farm. Or razor green farm. 
And I, speaking of that, I would love to have those fellows available again in the atomic shop. Deep done. It's so fun. Now there's more mutants waiting for me over here at Berkeley Springs, and that's a few more caps. And if I was a carnivore, I would have more mutant hound flesh for the mutant hound steak and mutant hound stew. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Since I'm here and it's complete now, I will quickly throw down this aluminum node here. You know? Big deal. Get the generator going. The traditional 10 power version. Alright, now we're getting the heck out of here once I drop everything off. down. We're good to go there. So let's go up to the Red Rock and make a stop and take that over while I do the pumpkin house because it's on my quest log. I want it to be gone. We probably still have some daily challenges left over. No, we don't. Besides the nuclear winter thing. Can't be called the pup. Fetch me some pumpkins to cook. Yes. I typically don't do the daily uh, nuclear winter challenges, but r right now I think it's pretty important because of the double score. So I, I think I, I've been doing it a bit within the, the past week. I've done it a handful of times. but uh, And I think as I'll do it today as well. Many thanks for your you get 500 points with the double score weekend. I would like to build my other build for Nuke of the Winter. That'd be interesting. You know? Because I'd like to have frog legs, so I need more agility. Like nine. It'll take me a couple iterations to perfect my build. But once I, once I do that, I'll be more confident. And then I'll know what to loot and how to loot it and all that garbage. It'll take me a bunch of runs. If it was a never-ending format, it'd be great. If you, if you didn't have like a thing that you loaded into a lobby, if it was just always out there in the field with this ever-shifting safe zone and consequences and reloading and scores, that'd be pretty cool. And you know, if you had this never-ending thing that kept shifting, that'd be pretty cool. 
I like nuclear winter. It's just I don't like the loading time. It's sort of a break. It feels a never ending. I like the theme. I like the voice. I like how the loot is. I like how streamlined it is. It runs smoother as well. I like everything about it. If if you what the heck? If you're into uh, battle royale games, it's a pretty good one. You know, it's one of the best. It doesn't have vehicles or whatever, but you don't really need that. But I would like if it was just part of this game or something like that. I understand it's fair with the loot and everything. There's no way to really cheat. Or it's much harder for a person to cheat. You can't bring in some other weapon into that mode. I'm sure there's a way, but that's not how it's structured. It's a much more fair environment. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that one. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Something, 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 something. Down there, sure. That thing, sure. Anything else? For Atlas it is. For Atlas it is. Let's go turn in our technical data and loot around the bottom of Fort Atlas for a second. We'll do the next public event that pops up. Let's pop up my build right over here. If you're looking to make a difference, Crafter McBuildsman. This guy has all the perceptor bobble and repair things you could ever ask for. And can do, right? I gotta move three points over. So I'll move fireproof over to luck there. Three points from endurance to luck. I really do love this new system. I do. There we go. Loot it up. Loot it good. I'll take off blocker. And I'll put on... Pack Rat 2. And Strong Back 1. Sure. And I'll loot this building nice and good. There's a bunch of stuff down in the basement. A bunch of stuff all, all around. Not the sub basement. I gotta swap my build back over before going down there. The scorched, the raiders, the bulls. If anything tries to attack, he's Yeah, I think if Nuke of the Winter was free and detached as its own little game and make it cross-platform where you could somehow register your actual game account and bring in your level or some garbage or have it associated afterwards because it really is sort of separate completely. You don't have any of your gear. It's just like your name and your... It doesn't even show your level. It shows your Nuke of the Winter level, so it's just your name really. 
and how your face looks and your cosmetics and whatever your account has you know if they had that that will get people really interested in playing Fallout 76 because they'll appreciate the game engine maybe and they'll appreciate the creatures at the crafting monster the sports beasts and certain aspects of this world certain weapons they might end up liking you know they might want to play but they might prick their ears to the actual game itself so ooh, I want to play that game and all of a sudden there's more people playing but yeah if they had a separate game they could make the separate game be cross-platform and just make it nice and streamlined greetings initiate nice and streamlined right Sort of like how Warzone is its own little game. You know, it's not like part of Call of Duty. But at the same time, zombies. The zombies outbreak mode is really zomb uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. It's a mode within that. It needs to be a separate thing. I'm pretty sure eventually they're, they're going to pull out the outbreak mode and make it its own thing. You shouldn't have to buy some other weirdo game. Person still doing push ups? Hey, soldier, get over here and do some push ups. at the ready. Keep those thoughts to yourself, Initiate. Never gonna make a name. Bring any. Have a question. The past I... has the answers, but I'm not a bad backup. Speaking of the of the past, I have some technical data to give to the Brotherhood. Wait to take a closer look at this. It's like Thanks some again. Technical manuals. It looks pretty interesting. Bye. Bye bye now. Hey, I found more technical data. <laughs> hey. I joined the Brotherhood for structure. Things are already falling apart. I joined the Brotherhood for structure. And you know what? We're here to protect the people. They'll be back in time. Watch hey, buddy. Your step. It's a mess up here. Anything you need to know? I have this for you. Maybe. Bye bye. Let's go back out and uh, drop everything back off. This is my place. Swap out my build and then go into the basement. 
into the basement, baby. Basementblues.org. Let's go drop us off. I used to work with the folks at Foundation. Hard workers, but I wanted something more than this place. Whenever I stop by a train station, I have to spend more money. Alright. A lot of weight off of my shoulders. 1178, what do we got? More legendaries to put away. Keep everything else. Boom and boom. Stash box is full. Okay. Let me go back up in there and clear up the basement. Ooh, jailbreak. I'll do the jailbreak event first. Well, we'll see. It's best if I do this. Okay. Now we go down to the basement. Yeah. Let me just eat a couple things. Sure. I had parasites eat these potato crisps. I pick up stuff all the time, you know. Apples. I got so much, I can sell everything. Bubble gum to keep me nice and satiated for a while. down deeper into the pits of the Shining Blarn. I do want to hit up that public event. Deeper into the pits. There's some mole miners down here. There's actually two waves. The initial burst and the secondary stone blast. Is a workbench down below. The resources buzz. You know, I have all that ore. I have to convert into junk and store away. Gotta be over encumbered for a second. There's a workbench coming up. Uh, 
after this entire room. on through. His little pet. Open the doors. Open the doors. Workbench. Okay. Might as well repair while I can. Great. Maybe. Yeah. Let's repair. Nice and safe here. There you go. Break them all down. Twenty still per rifle there. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Make sure I put the perk back. There it is. And you know what? I'm gonna share a perk because I'm not sharing anything right now. Let me share this. There you go. I'll be able to use a shotgun again. And I'll incorporate that into my build. It's important to shoot stuff from time to time. But maybe I maybe I'll incorporate it. I don't know. Maybe. Not a mole miner. It's not bad at all. <sighs> Coffee tins have aluminum. With all this fuel. Well, not all this fuel. Just a little bit. Okay. 
Up we go. Wasn't that fun? A little bit of a loot fiesta. I was going to go hit up that public event, but it's probably not still going on. If it is going on, I'll, I'll hit up the back end of it. That more rat was legendary. Fire. Instigating Broad Cider. That weighs all the weight in the world. I can sell it to a vendor. Let's go. Up and out. Up and out. But if you compare the amount of loot I have overall compared to before or after I entered this entire Atlas building, I got quite a bit of random garbage, huh? Yeah. weapons I didn't drop those off and that is actually the problem it's gonna drop a few of these until I'm able to brought break down those weapons So, let's head on back down to my property. Yeah. I gotta process this money. See, if this were ARC, just imagine late game ARC gameplay. Every server has their own little rules. You know, it's completely different. It'd be different. I don't even know how it'll work. You have your compound, you got your dinosaurs, you go harass them, let's, let's go fight them, go. Let's go explore the cave with our dinosaurs. Kill a bunch of things. Oh, it'd be different. You don't have like weird vendors and stuff everywhere. Okay, are we good to go? Sure. So I'll, I'll do a, a few more vendor transactions. Give away a few things at that broadsider, or I'll just sell it to the vendor here. Ready to 555. Yeah, Fighting. let's go sell a few of these legendaries. That broadsider. I know you might think that's stupid, but whatever. Can I assist you today? Right away, stem pack. I will now buy stuff from the junk vendor, steal, whatever. Okay. Done. All the extra ammo.
Well, I can't even store those two fusion cores. Done. Break down everything. Awesome. We're doing it, everybody. We're doing it well. We know how to play the game. Can't you tell? Yeah, yeah. What do they feed you in a vault, anyway? Yeah. Eleven ninety nine. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's get my turbo fur for honey. My ammo from the machine. My boss knocks them for them. I'm sure I'm good on ammo. Break it all down. Let me pay for Enforcer 1. So, under Agility, go for Enforcer. Just slowly preparing the shotgun use in the far background. Far background, yeah. I had some floating points over there, and I forgot why. I forgot why. Oh yes, Grim Reaper Sprint. All right, good to go. Any foods in the fridge? I do have a sliver of a cranberry relish I'll use right now. We don't have any brain bombs. But I can make some. All I need is... Uh, let's just do it right now. Let's go get some Mothman eggs for a heartbeat. Really, 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 really quick. And I could probably knock out a an hour XP farm. I gotta do it every so often. Okay. for the eggs. It just takes a second. I was trying to play without worrying about XP for a bit. I don't need all that. We're done. All done. I already had the cranberry relish in my belly. And I have 20 berry mint tests left. Let's go drop this off. Do I have any brain fungus? I do. So let's go make the brain bombs right now. See? Easy. Don't you love this game? Brain bombs, see? Eh? Two. Royal jelly taffy. Eh, silpium soup, whatever. Sort by plant. Light soup, sure. Why not? I'll eat all that. Why not?
Let's go back and get one more lunchbox. Unless it's on the scoreboard. It might be on the scoreboard. 150 atoms. A ton of caps. It's not. Alright, so... I am going to... Head back right over here to the foundation. And... Convert more of these treasury notes over to gold and spend some more gold on some lunch boxes. Yeah. Exactly 90. Hey there, friend. Hey, fellow dweller. I'm here to buy from you. Shut up. Give me your hey, flim flam. Fellow dweller. How's it going? You know, I'll do one more thing. Because I I'm not sure if I purchased the gold from the Wayward this week before it resets. I might have, but maybe not. Hey there, friend. Here for all your garbage. What do you got? What do you got? What's up? <coughs> Hi. Hey. Hey. Something up? Or you just want a gap? Uh, I should go. Throw one back for me. Okay, human. Okay, human. There you go. Salt and pepper all day. Where's more at? What'd you do with more? Hey, foundation or crater is ever gunning for you? Hit me up. You're a I liar. Know a lot of people in the right places. No, you don't. We might be able to help each other out. You're lying to me. The 76ers are interesting people. Who the heck are you? Hey, foundation or crater is ever gunning for you? Hit me up. Liar. It's a hint of the future. You get some random allies here. Thank you. Bye. Hey there, lady. What you got? What 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 you got? I want your junk. Maybe. Nah. Bye bye. Up and over. You can never have enough gold. Liar. I robbed you blind. Hi there. Come right over. I want your gold. Ah. Do it. All of it. Yeah, you see? Done. You gotta do that once a week. I'm now ready for an XP run. Dakota, you have nearly collected everything in the game, did every quest, 
and got every trophy. You're level 290 and you're constantly finding yourself bored or sitting in one spot trying to figure out what to do. I don't believe you. Oh, yeah. That's the problem. Well, y your problem here is your whole mindset of playing video games. You, you went into it thinking, what is there to do? Versus it's a never-ending journey. There's all kinds of stuff to do. Hey, Dakota, what? Act like I don't exist and act like somebody else besides me asked you your impression of workshops. Would, how do you feel about taking over workshops? How do you feel about that? There's never-ending content. Never-ending content. It's just about whether or not you're choosing to do it. There's all kinds of stuff. Daily ops, workshops, all kinds of goodness. Thank you for raising up the question. On that subject, I will now give you a list of things to do in Fallout 76 as read by my deepfake voice clone. Here's a list of things to do in Fallout 76 as read by my deepfake voice clone. Eat this food here, and then sit down, play my music, use the restroom. For I am but a man. But here is a list of things to do. Most of it is involved with farming. But if you have a build that doesn't require farming, it might get kind of boring. The short of it is try changing out your build. Try to shift over your focus. Try to, I'm sure you're not leveled up with all the legendary perks. There's a long way to go. A long way to go, you know? There's a long way to go in the future. You think you're done? I'm not done. I'm not done. So the problem with trade like i don't trade specifically to extend my gameplay if i trade it i'll get what i wanted much faster if i have to get it myself it just takes longer so and i also to give myself hey, look to give myself more gameplay i purposely hit walls i hit deficits i try to run out of aluminum or something and then because of my repairs or whatever i'm forced to go get some so then i'm forced to go to certain spots back and forth and it provides lovely gameplay. Every so often, I'm forced to go down there to the ash heap and my excavator armor, lucky hole mine for lead, maybe, for long-term growth. And now with the batch crafting, getting a bunch of junk is really good because it's just XP in the bank because you convert it over to XP whenever you do a bunch of crafting. So, there's still tons of growth with the legendary perks. The legendary perks, it costs so many levels so many levels for example for example it costs 50 100 then 150 perk coins to level up any legendary perk to the max level right the 300 perk coins which costs essentially 150 levels per just about because you get you know every level you get let's let's just say 100 and then there's six perk slots, and there's a bunch of perks, so you're nowhere near completing everything. You're acting like you've completed things. You're level 290. I've done everything in the game. So here's a list of things to do in Fallout 76, as read by my deepfake voice clone. My deepfake voice clone. Craft legendaries with modules, sell to NPC vendors, daily quests, workshop conquest, lucky hole mine, power plants, farm fusion cores, public events, XP run, toxic goo harvest, rebuild camp, move camp, repair armor, repair weapons, craft ammo, lift weights, sleep, play music, stock refrigerators, stock vendors, transfer items between characters, bury mintat run, dump caps at vendor if over 20,000, US requisition holotape, Garahan Building Farm, Reputation Root Farm, Iron or South Ash Heap, Multiply Crops at Workshop, 
Purified Water at Workshop, Tanagra Town Crickets, Faction Dailies, Spent Gold, Razor Grain Flower Farm, Scorch Beast Farm, Grafton Monster Farm, Sheep's Blotch Farm, Convert Ammo at the Ammo Converter, Deep Glove Farm, Snallagaster Farm, Tarberry Farm, Flatwood Silk Bean, Check Keyword Status, Nuke Findingo Colossus for a Cursed Weapon, Sugar Run, Nuka Cola Farm, Concrete, Late at Monorail, Abandoned Bog Town Secret Floor, Farm Mole Miners for Aluminum, Top of the World Aluminum Farm, Ski Poles, Enclave Code Piece, Keycard Search, Somerville Bookhouse, Watoga High School Plastic Farm, Kim Farm, Enclave Events, Wood Farm, Dogwood Farm, Smelt Ore, Smelt Spoiled Vegetables and Fruit, Cook Food Close to Spoiling, Mirelurk Egg Farm, Mothman Egg Farm, Nuka Cola Factory Farm, Sunshine Well Farm, Daily Ops, Get a High Bounty by Picking Locks, Lure Player to Camp with a High Bounty to Force Vendor Transactions, Hunt Down Wanted Players, Honey Farm, Convert Perks into Coins, Purchase Lunch Boxes with Gold, Harvest Flux from a Legitimate Nuke, Purchase Gold with Treasury Notes, Purchase Gold with Caps from Smiley, Dot Nuka Cola Vending Machine, Candy Bowl and Punch Bowl, Refine Camp and Workshop Blueprints, Craft legendaries with modules, sell to NPC vendors, daily quests, workshop conquest, lucky hole mine, power plants, farm fusion cores, public events, XP run, toxic goo harvest, rebuild camp, move camp, repair armor, repair weapons, craft ammo, lift weights, sleep, play music, stock refrigerators, stock vendors, transfer items between characters, bury mintat run, dump caps at vendor if over 20,000, US requisition holotape, Garahan Building Farm, Reputation Root Farm, Iron or South Ash Heap, Multiply Crops at Workshop, Purified Water at Workshop, Tanagra Town Crickets, Faction Dailies, Spend Gold, Razor Grain Flower Farm, Scorch Beast Farm, Grafton Monster Farm, Sheep's Watch Farm, Convert Ammo at the Ammo Converter, Deep Glove Farm, Snallagaster Farm, Tarberry Farm, Flatwood Silt Bean, Check Keyword Status, Nuke Findingo Colossus for a Cursed Weapon, Sugar Run, Nuka Cola Farm, Concrete. Okay, so, if you're still here, if you're still here there, Dakota, uh, to answer it shortly, think about all the stuff that you said that you did, that you collected everything you wanted to collect, you got all the plans purchased, you did all the storyline content, you hit ally rank, all this stuff, right, the Pioneer Scouts, right? I did all that too, but just think all of that is holding you back from playing the actual game, you know? Then you're free to play the actual game, which is what? When you're done sort of progressing and building out your build and getting your gear and getting all the stuff that you want to get, it really is Workshop Conquest. That really is the game. So I'm doing the Workshop Conquest for a couple reasons. One for the obvious resources which people think ain't that much but it really is when you have like all the workshops it's not that much but it really is a lot okay it's not just the 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 resources that are available at the workshop it's the enemies that appear like anglers defeat the anglers as asbestos and adhesive and angler flesh if you're a carnivore. Defeat the liberators, that's a bunch of steel and aluminum and what, whatever. Anglers. See, it tells you. Mutants equals mutant flesh. Even more bad guys to kill. And that's even more XP. And you get credit for completing it. And it provides an event for yourself and other people. This right here is an event for other players just like that. Or just like that. Other players cannot see this. This is just a retake event. But they do see that. If nobody takes over the workshops around the map, then you end up with not much going on around the map. But if you do the duty of taking the time, like an hour, hour and a half, to take over all the workshops, as many as you want, then you're providing content for yourself and other players. Tons of content. And it gives you a reason to build them up and everything. In addition, I'll talk while I'm fighting. In addition, I put down a building that has the beehive, 
that produces four honey, right? And the turbo fruit fertilizer that produces the turbo fruit fertilizer grenade that I can sell or use to replace my crops. And my collectron that produces a big long list of garbage to include honey, royal jelly, gumdrops, sugar bombs, different alcohol, but sugar bombs is the key. See? So it's really a sugar bomb farm. It's really worth it. Here we go. But right now, I am doing an XP farm for about an hour. Are the enemies like not here right now, or what? Oh wow. Well, there is a player camp over there. All right, let's go back. Okay, I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. I'll do my XP farm by clearing out my own workshops, all right? You'll see. You'll see why it's worth it, and it's scalable. Step one is taking over all the workshops as fast as possible. As fast as possible. There's 21 workshops, and that takes a minimum amount of time, right? With the fast travel and everything. A minimum, like, half an hour of gameplay just taking over things. What if the game crashes at minute... 37, and you never get to take over, you know, you never get to reboot your zone. So it's a big deal. You're trying to go back and reap. Also, also, The workshops give you free fast travel to these hot spots for junk or bad guys. Or honey. Yep. Yeah. Get my turbo fruit fertilizer. Drop off my garbage. And we're done. I get some credit for that. And now that I'm here, this is like my town, I can clear the rest of the enemies out. You see, so this big pile of bad guys, which is basically like an inside out West Tech, is provided to me through this workshop, sort of. Free access to this area. If they're here, Yeah. Get it? So I'm going around the map for the XP run, but I'm using my workshops as the hopping points. There's a couple hot spots back to back, left and right, but the workshops are spread all the way across the map to let me go through and clear things up. Plus, we have to keep the workshop and important resources that have a relatively short cap. The, tele uh, the Turbo Fert Fertilizer Grenade caps off at one, so I have to keep picking it up. And the honey, the beehive, caps off at four. The collectron keeps on collecting, but I want to make sure I keep clearing it up because another player can clear it out. But by default, I keep it unlocked. But see, if you start doing that, it provides a whole new layer of strategy and much more gameplay. And a whole system. Besides just going to a couple spots, bomb of the queen, whatever. You know, in, in this regard, you have this kingpin feeling for good or for, for evil. Taking over the map. Getting resources online. And it really does fit the narrative of, of the entire game. It's reclamation of the wasteland. So you're doing as you're told. And you're really role-playing. Just like the power plants have a good feeling attached to their conquest, because you're actually getting the power online, and it does affect multiple points around the map with the workshops that get the free power. Here we 
be good. Bombs away. This location here is also sort of attached to that last workshop. It's within a close jumping range, and it's in between the next workshop. Using my workshops as the piggyback, and as you see, what's going on there? You see, you see. I'm sure you left a while ago, by the way. Maybe you'll come back and watch the tape in the future. Oh, you're here. You're still here, Dakota. You see, I was, I was acting like you're still here. But see, I, I want you to see that I have these stitch points within a relatively short jumping range with free fast travel in between and then while I'm here maybe I'll hop through here and then I can move on to another point and by the time I do that another public event has popped up and then I continue my route to here and then I I do these little circular areas all the areas that have defaulted to the retake event so here's something vaguely educational right here Okay, this is a workshop this, the normal state, it means that another player can come here and take it over if they chose. It means it's fine, health full, whatever the heck it means. Uh, this one right over here. See, none of them are currently in a defense state. What happens is, when you first take over a workshop, there's a, a, a small delay, okay? And then, there'll be a defense event, and the, and the defense event looks just like that, okay? And everybody else around the map can see it, and they could teleport to it. They could teleport right to it. If the defense event is not active, then another player cannot teleport to the middle of your camp, to, to your workshop, and they have to teleport here, for example, or like way down here, and it gives you time. Now, step two. If the defense event fails, meaning you weren't there and, and the timer ran out, there's, a, there's an imaginary timer, then the workshop reverts to a retake state, which means there's another imaginary timer that you can't see. It's really the health bar, I think. It's some other weird thing. But after a certain point, the retake event will fail. It'll go away. So, for example, if I haven't been to a camp, uh, to a workshop in a while, and there is no circle, like this spot right here, with the health bar half full, that means that the retake event failed. Which means, if a retake event or below is active, I cannot build at a workshop until I kill the enemies. So, if there's a defense event or higher, meaning... It's a normal state where I, I walk there and, hey, look, I killed the enemies. I can walk around, build stuff, yeehaw. Defense event comes in. I can still build during the defense event. Defense event wave one, two, and three. I'm still building during the defense event. My turrets attacking and so forth, right? If the defense event fails and it goes to a retake event, then I can't build anymore until I kill the enemies. But at the same time, this is the key here. Other players cannot attack me if the retake event is active. Or if the retake event fails. So right here, if I went to Gorge Junkyard, another player could not attack me until they go out there and find the three random robots that are wandering the field. They would have to go kill them first. So it's actually a good thing and strategic to fail the defense events. And so I'm sort of failing on purpose. I don't really want to be there during the defense event. I want to leave before there because other players can teleport in. Okay, break. You get it? Yeah. You get it. And in between, we have our little farming areas or we have the public event or we have a daily quest. And there's a bunch of daily quests. Uh, 
and we get we get primo access to all this goodness. I'm, I'm always growing, you know, I, I like to have these goals ahead of me, and my builds are always shifting. The, if you want to have more growth, you can totally give yourself a prestige, okay? You can get rid of all of your perks, sacrifice all of your perks besides your build, just besides your build, everything, boom, gone. Turn it all into perk coins, and then level up some legendary perk, and then start from there. You'll give yourself tons of growth. Try that out, Bosco. Go through and get rid of all your perks. Everything that you're not currently using. And then one day you'll start to build a need to try something out, but all of a sudden you can't do it and you have to level up 20 more times. And you want to accelerate your leveling and all of a sudden you're forced to do some farming and get some resources and the gameplay begins. It might not seem like it's that ma that, like it's that many resources, but it really is a lot over time. It really is a lot over time. And think of it like this. You might think that you have your area that you can go to to get your resources. Well, I just go to this building for a bunch of copper. Well, you can still do that, but now you have easier access to that building. Enemies spawn right over here sometimes. Of different variety. And they spawn right over there sometimes. Along with at the actual workshop itself. And it's been overrun of course. Lesson that we learned. Workshops aren't just about the resources. They're about the XP little boost right there from the event. From the enemies that, that spawn. And about these other nodes. The beehive. That honey really adds up. Four honey, four honey, four honey. And four honey. Turbo fertilizer. Look all this stuff. Boom. That adds up as well. And we get the heck out of here. And the random plants. 
See, whenever it says retake, that means that someone's there, usually. We're not going to worry about that. Let's keep on going. Down to Harper's Ferry. So I'm still trying to earn a bunch of perks that I lost a long time ago from the prestiging thing I mentioned. Where I got uh, I got rid of a bunch of perks over time to get a bunch of perk coins to give myself some growth. I kept a bunch of essential perks, but then over time I got rid of those perks as well. But I've earned most of them back, and now I'm going for the other thing. <laughs> So I have a lot of growth. I still can't use rifles again. You know, I got rid of all that stuff, but I'm getting it back over time. Yeehaw. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. You gotta get them fast, otherwise they'll get you back. You know what I mean? There's enemies that spawn here sometimes, or always, but not right now, because they're dead probably. And right here, they sometimes they spawn after. And right here, where they're dead as well. They're not dead. Here we go. it out front. We're good to go. Yeah. Cool. And now with the daily ops, it provides this extra challenge. And there's a bunch of new rewards. I don't think you've gotten all that stuff. I'm still grinding for a couple things there. You know? I got the Hellstorm missile launcher that I was trying to grind for a long time. It only, it only lets you get one reward per day, so it takes a long time to get everything. And the game runs a whole lot better, so it's a, it's a whole new experience almost the more you play. If you go back to an old area that you haven't been to in a while, you might appreciate the game more because the graphics are a bit smoother. Shoo doo boo and a boo and a boo boo shoo doo boo and a boo and a boo boo boo. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. Testing one, testing one. Is this thing on? And have a good day. 
moving on. I'm trying to educate the folks about the workshops. Also, look, I know it's a big danger that players might kill you. At a workshop, okay? They might kill me. People want to kill me. I'm like a big trophy. And, and there's stream snipers and all kinds of stuff. So it makes it a big challenge. Remember, players cannot teleport right on top of the workshop, but you can with a fast travel target. They have to travel like up the hill or down the hill or some neighboring area. You just got to be aware of where they can spawn in at. You know? But during a defense event, they could appear right the heck there. So you don't want to be there during a, during defense events. So it's sort of like a game to get in, get out, get your stuff, go, move across to the map. Make it be very expensive for them to catch up to you. So don't let that be a true deterrent, other players. Most other players are also very scared and will avoid it. Also, to avoid other players taking over your stuff, just leave everything unlocked. And it's also very important to get your resources online. Here, I did not get the resources online. See? A person might have had their heart set on getting the aluminum. Oh, I got the aluminum. Yeah. See, I left it unlocked though, you see? We might have wanted the aluminum, the lead. I heard something weird. I think I heard a player. See, that's a case where they can't kill me. See? Right here, another player cannot kill me at my workshop because there's other enemies here. Okay? But I came back and I got the goodies. And now I'm bouncing on. And actually, if you leave your workshop in a retake state like if you leave one enemy alive as long as possible way off in the corner it kind of prevents the other player from killing you on sight like right here I could like dance and sing on top of the mountain without the enemy snapping me but the goodies really do add up but like I was saying uh If you have all of the resources online, including a bunch of water available for other players, like purified water, you get all the resource nodes active, you build some nice buildings, you make it be very welcoming, they don't really have a true reason to fight you. So I'm going to leave those Yagwai those Yago alive. <clears throat> Just a couple. Now over here at the Red Rocket. I have my building in the back. At this point, it might be frustrating for another player if they're trying to come get me. But we have plenty of reaction time. So as you see, most of the game is Workshop Conquest. With the other activities kind of peppered in as opposed to just waiting around for something else to happen. You're making it happen. Uh-oh. Let me get the heck out of here. Collecting fun is what I do. I find parties. See, in between every so often, I'll do like a little daily activity or like this Mad Dog Malone thing because it's next to my next objective. So I'm kind of hopping around based upon things with a purpose, but without the workshops, it's just doing whatever is the most efficient and that gets boring. It gets boring doing whatever, like the, the min maxing thing does get bigger in here. Oh. 
Oh I yeah. Am I'm going in. Break it down. Cool. We're done with that. I don't want to go back there just yet. I want to hop on down here to Gorge Junkyard. And see, here there is no retake event visible, but I'm sure it's been overrun because my health bar, that thing is half full, and I. It, it, Typically, if I haven't been to a workshop in a while, it should have the retake event visible on the map. And if it's not visible, that means it's reverted below that. I could check by trying to build something. Whoa, never mind. Do I do is I check right away if I, if I could build, that means there is no retake event. Well, what do you know? Pick up my four, honey. All my goodies. You. you see, my little turbo fertilizer. Drop it all off, and we bounce. Right on down. Quickly. Just doing it real quick, like. It's important to cycle this through. Of course, this is not the most efficient thing to do if you're XP farming. If I'm XP farming, I'd go do my little psych with mutants and all that. We'll gather up these dogs for a second. I'll leave one. Maybe, nah. I'll kill the final dog. I'm checking the map for where this dot is. And I'll do a quick repair all. And now I'm going to go ahead and... See, there's a player right here living at West Tech. It's not convenient. Let's go straight to Huntersville. There's a player probably killing those mutants whenever they spawn at West Tech. And at the National Isolated Radio Array. I guess calling it the Array is fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Up the hill. By my garbage.
That's a 1464, good buddy. Oh yeah. Check for a bubble head. Sometimes he spawns later. You're right, your fever is doing all kinds of stuff. When enough players show up, it really does get exciting. I'll knock it out. It's nice to do these things. It's not my regular XP farm. It's hopping across the map. Con consider this that, uh, consider that public events give you a free fast travel point. You can get across the map. Hey, I've come to assist you. Stop. With a Geiger counter in my hand, I'm here to assist you and throw all of my grenades. This is where I get to waste my missiles and grenades. Seventeen missiles, and I'll find my largest stack of. Wim flam grenades and molotovs. Back, foul beasts! Back! I'll share a lunchbox. Someone shared with me. I should share right there. Yeah. Remove this individual from the premises. Adequate 
uranium volume extracted and processed. Output quality increased. Three, two, one, and throw. How can you scan this tight? I got myself a, a weapon last night. With faster attack speed, 3 star. I'll do the daily up with you if you want. Wasting my ammo. Oh, 
A mine? A mine? A mine? Adequate uranium volume extracted and processed. Output quantity increased. We're done here. said earlier I'm gonna wait until I get the the uh, power patrol whatever skin for the t65 before I go back into my power armor I shifted my build around to support the punching gave myself those legendary perks The game really does throw resources at you from time to time. <sighs> hey, that's pretty cool. Bloodied harpoon gun with limb damage? Pretty nice. Harpoon gun is like a mega version of the railway rifle. a bit tighter here. I'll show you my build really quick if you're curious. Because I'm, I'm one-shotting them, Grim Reaper Sprint works out with the AP situation. Party Boy and Cola Nut for the Nuka Cola Dark combo. Trying to go for some XP as well. Explosive, of course, the melee. Ordnance Express because I'm using my auto grenade launcher as an, a uh, backup weapon. And so that the missiles weigh less for my Hellstorm missile launcher. And over here we have my other perks I keep on. I. I decided to go ahead and keep on the funky duds because, you know, there are the occasional poisonous enemies, and those are the ones that end up killing me. So it's nice to get rid of them, maybe. Floating palm, of course. Hack and slash. Collateral damage. Those three perks for the melee. And master infiltrator. If I want to get my resources up and running, that's how you do it. You get a lot of free money that way as well. Okay, moving on down the down the road. I'm gonna go back over here and clear out Berkeley Springs. I left there early because I I felt like I heard a player. You know, that's what I felt like. But now I'll go ahead and clear it out. Right now. Okay. I thought I heard 
heard something. So there was nothing. Oh boy. More aluminum. See, it's that ore that really, really adds up. You know, you end up with a couple hundred of the resources at the end of the day. Or whatever. It just adds up. It adds up. Make sure I get my honey. I'm gonna go down here and kill a, a few of these scorched. Periodically, I have to get more resources for berry mint hats, for my razor green flower, for uh, additional nuclear cola darks. I have to get snap tail reed, and I have to go get more ore every so often. Or at least once per, per play session. And these, some of these tasks take a, a while for activity. Which is why I made that list of things to do. You just gotta think about whether or not you've done one of those things recently. Okay, moving out. I'm gonna go back through Dolly's Sods and clear that out. And then back by back the mine. Get my my oil all the time. Y'all why are also a great source of acid. Thank you. We done here? One more. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. Go straight across here. You, you you want it to be inconvenient for other players to catch up to what you're doing. That's the goal. You know what I mean? After a few hops to say, well this is pointless. This guy's everywhere. Let me go do something else. What you want? This is pointless. the aluminum here on the line? Nope. It destroyed my generator. That's fine. And then... 
repair everything. Get my resources. Drop it all off. And move on. Isn't it exciting? And whenever everything has kind of settled down, I move on to go do something else. And the thing is, the more workshops you take over, the less settling down there really is, to the point where there's just a million things to do. It's, it's just choosing when you want to do them. And if you do them in the right order, you end up with more, because if you go, if, for example, if you know that you have these, these workshops that are gathering the resources, oh my God. if you kill some time, they'll get more resources. The collector or the trigger bomb. If you come back to a workshop that you haven't been to in a while, if it's not destroyed yet, it'll have the resources you need. Okay, this is done. Let's do a full repair. That was free because the numbers were green. Fertilizer. More royal jelly, more cotton candy bites. Drop it off and move on. Metal disposal field. I've been holding off on doing the Camden Park area because I feel like it takes a certain amount of time, but it's not that bad. It's, it's a delightful area to go to. There really is resource farm area. This is also why it's important to swing back through the workshops. They end up destroying everything. Let me go get them first. Because I have no defenses here. That's why it's also important to build more at the workshop. Right now, players can catch up to me. I have to be very careful right now. Check the map again. Okay. Usually, if they're trying to catch up, if they're in the process of catching up, they'll be running, which makes them visible. If they're sneaking, they are invisible. Done. See? Wonderful, huh? And now I'll catch the end of the line in the sand public event. Oh, you felt like the the uh, federal disposal yard field was the hardest to manage. Yeah, yeah. It's liberators or mole rats quite often. Sometimes it's it's mutants. Oh boy, am I, do I want to do this? Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Automatic boot sequence starting. Uh, power All cycling. Right. I'll start wasting some brothers. random grenades. If I have any, but I don't. That's okay. That's fine. How many? Okay, cool. Let's make sure this is nice and reloaded. And this. Reloaded. Get ready. Get ready. Slipping puree. I'm just going to eat a couple of things. Some apples. Why not? Code Alpha Rosso Diner. Further 
Um, I'm alone, so I'll go ahead and do melee. Well, I'm not alone. Nobody wants to hear your legacy weapons.
that and he's still ain't hitting anything. Lima X ray zero zero Zulu Niner X ray. Hurry up. Well, I'm done here. Bye bye. The second wave is over here somewhere. leave public events whenever there's a legacy weapon user. I don't like hearing it. Huh. They're way behind the building apparently. Got to repair. 
repair. I'm gonna start looting. So I can get the heck out of here. And I'll just melee any enemies that wanna show up. We'll go around here. I'm all on a Halloween candy and a raisin green flower. At the same time. I pretty much killed everything anyways, so I'll let them catch up. Multitasking. Combat. Action. Keep on going. Run the sand. There we go. Goodbye. Cool. And now we'll go right on down to the way to airport. Yep. And I'll break down my weapons first. Put everything away before clearing up the enemies. It's 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 quite the relief to play the actual game. Whenever I'm doing too hardcore of XP farming. I only keep. I, I restrict myself to the hot spots, you know? Hello! Hello! Hope you're having a merry day! Sound! What is it? Me. What? Who's there? Me. Don't let any fun is what A rare condition. Punch you in the spine. I'll do a repair all in just a bit. They're really over here. Tell me where the remaining enemies are. I'll do a quick repair. All. Oh. Hey, cook. While I'm here, I will go find these uh, radio vacuum tubes and go drop them off. See, all kinds of activities. See, multitasking. Well, I was told to go here anyway from the raiders. I like to go into spots for purposes. There's one. Other one's up on the roof. There's a bunch of mutants here, so it's an excuse to fight them. I don't have enough AP on me right now. Hope you 
go up in here. I found a while back that if you use a jetpack more like a double jump, you have a much better time. Moving on. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So let's go do the Path to Enlightenment daily, uh, sorry, uh, public event, and then swing through the workshop, hit up Mad Dog Malone if there's still time, and then eventually retake the Grafton Steel Yard. Somebody took it over from me a while ago. I don't want to go back until they get bored. A person might be camping out for me. I want to prevent that. Look at the strategy involved. Gonna get fifty. There you are. It's really about the toads. Let's get some AP foods on my hot bar. Oh, there's canned coffee. This light hells. I go find the darn body. If you shoot them with fire, they stay on fire for a couple seconds. Okay. No, it's all about the toads. Funny, they, they fly down after a bit. Cool. If they float, it seems like they fly into the air and then they drop down. Or whatever. I'm going to deposit my first load. 
Right over here. Join some other team. Now there was a bobblehead in one of these windows. Right there, you see? I learned that from using that bobblehead perk in the past. So hard to find this stuff sometimes. We'll go find those toads. All right. Three more. I'm gonna go d uh, deposit this amount now. I'm pretty sure. That's my portion. You know, if I if I if if the goal is to have 50 and I deposit more than 25, I think I'm good to go. Oh man. Twenty-four. Force quit the game and then reopen it. I'll retain my progress. Force quit and reopen. Play with team. Hopefully the event is still going. I can get the credit for it. You know. You know. And you know. Hopefully I'm here in time. Am I not on a team anymore? Oh, great. It's a different server. But that's fine. We we had our fun on that other server. Whatever. I was able to reap what I sowed. The sowing and reaping and so forth and so on. Worked out. Let's join some other team. Create some team. And continue. 
I'm going to do this Enclave event really quick. Bunch of enemies. Real quick lag. It looks like we have to do a, a uh, private server run, I think. Do you think... Do you think uh, Lone Wanderer works if you are the only person on a public team? I think I might put on this other perk. I think I might take off the strength perk and put on the retribution. You get 2 HP and 2 AP whenever you block an attack. Maybe. I don't know. There's options. What do you think? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Let's hurry up and do this thing, and then I think I'll, I'll go down to a private server. Do what I gotta do. I still have the need to fine tune my build every day, or my items. By transferring them over to my other characters and then tidying things up. All the stuff I'm not really using, you know. Team. Okay. And I'm going to put on Lone Wanderer. Even though I'm on a public Warning. server. Warning. Gear system blocked. Please perform immediate repairs. For 20% damage reduction and 30% extra AP regen. User component has detected. Component Resuming lost. function. Recalibration requested. Oh, yeah. Repair detected. Resuming uplink protocols.
It's a monster now. Hopefully it'll be active for a bit longer. This is the new server. Camp. Infestation cleared. Yeah. Thank you for your participation. It was fun using that Mole Miner Gauntlet, but I don't think it's as universal in concept as this weapon here with the skin. Other one, it, it sort of had like a Christmas theme. In reality, it was just red and white candy stripe. Red and white candy stripe. here I could pull something else out I'll put this back in I'm sure I have something I'm sure I got something this nocturnal grenade launcher how about that how about that over here ready to Initiate I'll sell something. Trading. How about some more stim packs? Radex right away. I get so many stim packs. How can I? I'll buy your junk. You today. Deal. Sell some more stim packs. Done. I'll head to the other vendor and do the same thing really quick. Ignoring the sounds Hello, of battle. This is the new server, so I get to check the vendors again for more junk Haruni. garbage concrete steel whatever now I don't have can do on but I guess I'll put it on for a second Loot back here. Just a safe or two here and there. Hangers.
Back over, back over. I might as well go this, but there's a few food items. There's a few. Head back up to my camp. Uh oh. More stuff to sell, really. Yeah, it used to be sort of a big problem coming here. The robots would start ap approaching from around the alleyways, and more and more robots. Pretty bad, but now it's pretty darn easy. It's not even a problem. It's just a place, it's a place to hang out. But I think for anybody that wants to come on by and uh, launch a nuke. Or when they're done with the nuke, they want to spend some money, maybe. They'll come to my shop. Whatever you're under. Hey, what are you doing back here? Scraps of brain fungus. Hi there. We're done. Check my vendor again. One fifteen. I'll sell this bloodied harpoon gun for five thousand seven hundred. This thing will be sold for a uh, default. Done. Hi. Okay, drop it all off. Done. Break everything down. I'll swap to another build and start working on everything. Repair. Build up for a second. While I'm here, I will make. See here, we have super duper. I make some ammo. Okay. 
I was trying to see if I had ammo factory on. Would I have the strength perk on, but do I need it? Probably not. Okay, it's missing with 40 millimeter. Boom. I like to have a lot so I could do a lot. Like during the during the uh, Lion the Sand event or killing the Scorch Beast. Bam. There it is. And that's really it. I'm not really making any missiles. Okay. Missiles, I'm just working with whatever the world wants to give me. Okay, I'll do some cooking for a second. You still have a super duper on. Let's go to plants. Sweet potato stew. Deep fern flower tea. Water now. All food. Royal jelly taffy. And we're done. Any alcohol, maybe? Nah, I don't have any snap tail. Okay, let's repair my armor. Sequence completed, I think. Just about we're at 11.95. Pop back over. Icebreaker McGee. Done. And now I'll get rid of these extra plans. Camp is down the hill. Please peruse my words and spend your money, beast, beast, beast. Cool. Put these fusion cores away. But I can't. I already have a lot. I'll put these away. Done. So good. Problem here is we don't have any can any AP foods whatsoever. And that's actually a major issue. Sort of. Time to make a fresh pot of sweet potato stew. I should have a certain amount of honey by now. 129. Over here I'll put... Okay, so this is where I'll convert myself over. Alright, it's gonna work out. And I'll use Nuka Cherries along with the Flim Flam. And we're gonna stop using Nuka Cola Dark. I'll put the Quantum here instead. So we'll be using Quantums, Cherries, and Honey. Quantums, cherries, and honey. Sure. Until I get things under control. Alright, everything's fine and dandy. Fine and dandy. You don't have any food for me, probably. Let's go. I'm doing pretty good there, Jared. Making fine progress with this build and this 
season and everything. I said earlier that between now and whenever I unlock the skin, I'm not going to use power armor unless I'm doing the ore harvesting with my excavator. Well, wait, let's look at that skin. Yeah. Shifting my build around all the time. I can't wait until I get the other skin. So maybe I should wait until that, huh? Well, how about that? Yeah, I'll wait until I get this skin until I use this power armor again, but then once I unlock this skin, which is way better, feels like the best skin ever. Then I mean, come on. I mean, come on. What in the world's happening with this one? Sort of, besides whatever. All right. We're making our way downtown. Alright, I will eat some foods and do what I have to do. There's still more to do around the map, the dailies. This is the new map, you know, so uh, I might just focus on the dailies first and get the AP over time eventually. Yeah. We're working it. We're working it. Yeah, my game crashed, so I had to start back over. Sad, but that's okay. We'll work on doing what we gotta do. Oh, I'll be back in just a second. We're at the six hour mark in the stream. Okay, I'll be right back in just a moment. Yeah. Here's a list of things to do in case you're bored in Fallout 76 with my deep fake voice club. It's read by my deep fake. It's read by my deep fake voice clone. Enjoy. Craft legendaries with modules. Sell to NPC vendors. Daily quests. Workshop conquest. Lucky hole mine. Power plants. Farm fusion cores. Public events. XP run. Toxic goo harvest. Rebuild camp. Move camp. Repair armor, repair weapons, craft ammo, lift weights, sleep, play music, stock refrigerators, stock vendors, transfer items between characters, bury mintat run, dump caps at vendor if over 20,000, US requisition holotape, Garahan building farm, reputation root farm, iron or south ash heap, multiply crops at workshop, purified water at workshop, Tanagra town crickets, faction dailies, spend gold, razor grain flower farm, scorch beast farm, Grafton Monster Farm, Sheep Squatch Farm, Convert Ammo at the Ammo Converter, Deep Glove Farm, Snallagaster Farm, Tarberry Farm, Flatwood Silt Beam, Check Keyword Status, Nuke Findingo Colossus for a Cursed Weapon, Sugar Run, Nuka Cola Farm, Concrete, Late at Monorail, Abandoned Bog Town Secret Floor, Farm Mole Miners for Aluminum, Top of the World Aluminum Farm, Ski Poles, Enclave Code Piece, Keycard Search, Somerville Bookhouse, Watoga High School Plastic Farm, Kim Farm, Enclave Events, Wood Farm, Dogwood Farm, Smelt Ore, Smelt Spoiled Vegetables and Fruit, Cook Food Close to Spoiling, Mirelurk Egg Farm, Mothman Egg Farm, Nuka Cola Factory Farm, Sunshine Well Farm, Daily Ops, Get a High Bounty by Picking Locks, Lure Player to Camp with a High Bounty to Force Vendor Transactions, Hunt Down Wanted Players, Honey Farm, Convert Perks into Coins, Purchase Lunch Boxes with Gold, Harvest Flux from a Legitimate Nuke, Purchase gold with treasury notes. Purchase gold with caps from Smiley. Stock Nuka Cola vending machine. Candy bowl and punch bowl. Refine camp and workshop blueprints. Craft legendaries with modules. Sell to NPC vendors. Daily quests. Workshop conquest. Lucky hole mine. Power plants. Farm fusion cores. Public events. XP run. Toxic goo harvest. Rebuild camp. Move camp. Repair armor. Repair weapons. 
craft ammo, lift weights, sleep, play music, stock refrigerators, stock vendors, transfer items between characters, bury mint at run, dump caps at vendor if over 20,000, US requisition holotape, Garahan building farm, reputation root farm, iron or south ash heap, multiply crops at workshop, purified water at workshop, Tanagra town crickets, faction dailies, spend gold, razor grain flower farm, scorch beast farm, Grafton Monster Farm, Sheep's Watch Farm, Convert Ammo at the Ammo Converter, Deathclaw Farm, Snallagaster Farm, Tarberry Farm, Flatwood Silt Beam, Check Keyword Status, Nuke Findingo Colossus for a Cursed Weapon, Sugar Run, Nuka Cola Farm, Concrete, Late at Monorail, Abandoned Bog Town Secret Floor, Farm Mole Miners for Aluminum, Top of the World Aluminum Farm, Ski Poles, Enclave Code Piece, Keycard Search, Somerville Bookhouse, Watoga High School Plastic Farm, Chem Farm, Enclave Events, Wood Farm, Dogwood Farm, Smelt Ore, Smelt Spoiled Vegetables and Fruit, Cook Food Close to Spoiling, Myrlurk Egg Farm, Mothman Egg Farm, Nuka Cola Factory Farm, Sunshine Well Farm, Daily Ops, Get a High Bounty by Picking Locks, Lure Player to Camp with a High Bounty to Force Vendor Transactions, Hunt Down Wanted Players, Honey Farm, Convert Perks into Coins, Purchase Lunch Boxes with Gold, Harvest Flux from a Legitimate Nuke, Okay, so I'm doing Lone Wanderer right now. Great. Just great. Yeah. I'll knock on my daily right now. Really quick. Now, there's not many trash cans here at Camden Park, but there's probably a couple. Oh, hmm. There's probably more chem boxes than trash cans, to be honest. So, I'm going to put both on. There we go. I'll take up Grooper Sprint and Bloody Mess. Pharma Pharma and Can Do. My perception's very low in this build, so can't do much about that. Bobblehead finding and all that. Hmm. Have these dailies to knock out. Let me go talk to this dude first, and I'll pick up the loot while he's ready. You'll see what we get. Bunch of cloth here. Super quick. Rubber. Wood. Plastic. Cloth. Yeah, sure. Pick this up. There it is. And I throw. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's it. It doesn't matter how many you make. I don't think it all squishes. Or mostly squishes. Skulls. Oh, hi. That gave it another go. Really quick. We'll get Mosey into that park then. Okay, buddy. I'm multitasking. Alrighty okay. then. Better get moving. I have Master Infiltrator as well, so this is good for me. Go. First aid. Duffel bag. No enemies. Very nice. There's a chem box there at the corner. Cart. Up and around the tree. Ah! 
make sure I have woodchucker on, but eh. Don't have woodchucker on, that's okay. Double wood, there's not much wood here. The bandy besides that to collect that Camden part. If I was going to the Toxic Valley, I would want it on. Got the oil. And everything. There's a mild delay. All the enemies are dead. They're definitely weird lag. Hey there, buddy. I got your hot dogs right here. Hot dogs. Hi, it's you again. Good to see you. You know what to do. Start when you're ready. Paper towel. Okay, honey. Ready? Set? Go! Mm. There you go. Double whammy. Not really. Two. Two for one special. One more hot dog. One more hot dog. Done. Right back here. Some lead right here in these can chimes. There's a safe back here or something. Technical data. I'll go around the outer rim and curve back in. Workbench, armor. Break it all down as we go, because it's gonna it's gonna weigh a lot. A plan here for light robot arms. More and more and more. Back here. This is all lead in these lead in these uh, wooden blocks. Adhesive. Acid in that cleaner. Cloth right here on the wall. Sometimes there's a uh, magazine hanging out. Want to trade that blue suit for some Actually, I did want to trade with you. <sighs> you have the time there, robot. I want to trade with you. I just want to loot for a second, please. Thank you. Right, are you ready for me now? I want your junk. I'll give you money. All your aluminum. This one usually sells aluminum. Buy bulk aluminum here. I buy the steel because that's just what I'm doing right now. All right. I buy the oil when it's available. I'm not going to buy the rest. I'll buy the nuka cherry. There's four here. 
And I'm gonna sell my stim packs and my rad axes, and my right away. I like to keep the right away diluted and the stim pack super. Uh oh. Sure. Goodbye. Okay. All done. I do need some sort of alcohol here, so I'll put beer. There we go. Goodbye, everything. I'm trying to focus on my dailies right now, plus whatever public events. Swarm of suitors. Let's go talk to Roxy. Once I'm there, I'll curve back up and over by the Prickett's Fort area to get some wood and to do, to do the daily. I, I should have an instigating shovel in my inventory. I have to be kind of sparing on, on the AP consumption here. What do you have? Once I finish up that old frame, she's going to be moved. Ooh, cool. Yeah. Uh, twice as fast. Uh, uh, bye. What else do you got? Cheese has plans usually, right? I'm here with brand new eyeballs. I have to repair these radio vacuum tubes. Loot a couple things while I'm here. I don't loot this place like hardly ever. Hey there, buddy. Can I cross this name off my list or what? Yeah, pal. Dead. Dead. Good. I don't even care what you did. I just like to know it's done. So you're due some payment here. <laughs> Hard work deserves real pay. Yeah. Now scram, kid. Bye. Don't you call me kid. You run into any of those Mothman cult people? They're completely crazy. Shut up. Hey there. Look what the cat dragged in. What? You got what I wanted? Darn right. Are you the cat? You serious? Let's take a look then. Quality replacements, wiring looks good, inputs and ports are clean. Well, I guess since my time is precious to me, I can toss you a few more caps. Thank you, bye. I'll put in a good word with Meg, and don't forget to show your face around here from time to time. Never know when I might need more reliable help. Cool. This is my jam. Okay, now let's go right on down here to go do this daily. Just knocking them out. Knocking them out. I'll make sure to put on woodchucker. I could take off from a farmer or something. Woodchucker. Nah. Well, I could do that. Lucky break and luck of the draw. It's nice to have some perks that only cost one. Confederate soldiers never mind. Hello there. To fill in the gaps. Preservation team. I have a real problem here. While building new outhouses, we discovered. 
discovered the remains of a civil war Union soldier. Although the body is highly irradiated and strangely fresh, it's almost like it died 20 years ago instead of 200. Now I need you to properly enter the body. 200. The cemetery. options. Whenever I have a big old pile of Nuka Cola Darks, I can use them. Whenever I don't, I can keep the perks the same and then split that concept into both Nuka Cola Cherry and uh, some other alcohol that I might already have. Chucker doubles the wood. No, it doubles and doubles, and it doubles and doubles. Double doubles all the wood. Is there a limit on intelligence after which it won't boost your XP? Uh, I don't think so. There's only so many ways to boost your intelligence. And I've noticed the difference. You want it to be like ab above 40 or something if you want to do a XP run. Well, if you have the base 15 intelligence, right? Plus. Eight intelligence from the berry mint of. from uh, brain bombs or the Scorch Beast brain, right? That's 23. Plus. Five. From the brain bombs. That's 28. Right. Plus. 15 from your. Your gear. With put, potentially plus one each. That's up to 20. From your items. Plus your. So up to 21. More your items. So it starts to go up there to 40, 50, you know. But, and the numbers do get pretty darn high. Pretty darn high, you know. Plus the casual team bonus. For example, a level 100 mutant by default, I don't even know how much XP they provide, but with my average stack of XP buffs, it should provide about 1500 XP plus minus if there happens to be a full uh, casual team available and I'm in with a full bond, maybe it'll go up to 1600 I've seen it be 1700 sometimes, but that's like a stacked up situ situation Okay, let's get my uh, shovel. But I don't know. I've never looked it up, but I've seen the numbers raise up on the screen, so I try to focus on that. That's why you want to have a full set of unyielding if you're doing strict XP farming. 
Then you have three stars, so maybe one of those stars can be plus one intelligence, you know. Hands up. I don't know for sure. Okay. I'm gonna use my own shovel and leave that one. Don't wanna mess it up for people. Bury the body. There it is. And done. I'll go in here for a second. I still have wood checker on. Oh no, 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 no. No. There'll be a Yagua in that parking lot back there. Okay, I'm just knocking out these dailies. I'm just knocking out these dailies. I'm just knocking out these dailies. Yes, so it does top out past, well, it, uh, you do get more intelligence past 30. For example, uh, that's why you want to use a very mint tab. Because it gives you plus five intelligence on top of all that. Yep. But there is a huge difference in XP gain between power armor and non-power armor. I'm not using Butcher's Bounty right now. Okay. I'll go right down here. Make sure this is reloaded. Try it out. With the intelligence boost, Alex. Remember. Remember. By default, brain fungus soup gives you a bit of intelligence. It's everywhere. It's just brain fungus and water. Shazam! If you're herbivore, you have brain bombs. If you're carnivore, you have broiled scorched beast brain. So, if you kill a scorched beast, got the brain, you cook it, boom. If you if you have carnivore, it'll double the amount. Like, you know, carnivore. And if you're herbivore, it'll double the amount. Right? And if you have the strange in numbers perk, it'll give you a bit more. To the point of you end up getting plus eight intelligence from the plus eight intelligence. Plus plus thirteen intelligence with those two buffs. Right there. Pretty good. On top of whatever your your basic garbage is. Intelligence from the fully bonded team. Alright, I'm gonna hop all the way over here and put the meat on the flim flam. Mm hmm. Just knocking out these dailies. That was a relatively short jump. Maybe I should have ran over there. Probably should have. I'm trying to be positive in my growth. So here, I will quickly take off this garbage just for a second. Put on a pharma just for a moment. 
And then put on with Chuck or Rick in when I walk outside the door. A bunch of wood outside that door. I'll kill the grafting monster as I go around. There's some stuff in this mirror. And thank you again, Alex. Berry mintets aren't that hard to produce, and when you do farm them, you can get like over 200 if you farm enough and everything. And that, that lasts for a while. It's a noticeable difference, sort of, when things start stacking up. can't wait for another double XP event. It's actually been a very long time since there's been a double XP event. But I'm ready for that one. Maybe they'll announce it. If they announce it like a couple weeks ahead of time, I could be ready. I just want to make sure I have everything all stacked up and ready. Yeah. So, I will now take from a farmer off. And can do off and put bloody mess back on. I still have serendipity on. I'm just leaving uh, Grim Reaper Sprint off and I'll put on Woodchucker and the Lucky Break and Luck of the Draw. We'll get wood between A and B. Every three seconds. Drink some more beer. We ride. Got some caps and some oil. We'll go right over here. There's some dogwood trees. We'll do a big loop around this valley and head back down to the. Uh, quest over there. But I have to get some produce, I believe, so I should probably do that as well. I don't think I have the produce. We'll find out. I guess I can give myself the fast travel by taking over the workshop here. So I will do that. I'll take over the workshop. But I'm not going to build anything. How about that one? That'd be fun. In name only. Because we, we don't have much time left on the server. Or uh, in the stream. Not much time left at all. Check the map for their players. We're fine. Cobbleton. It's a, it's a short jump. Meat. Is there anything better than a hunk of flesh ripped from a stone? Meat on the grill. I don't think I have the vegetables. I just got the sound of poor animal flesh sizzling over the hot Potatoes and whatnot. Bread. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get it right now before I'm told to go get it. It'll give me an excuse to loot this building as well. There's a small farm here.
might not have the carrots though. I don't know what he wants. But let me loot all this garbage here. I should have a lot of ore as well, you know. And it's weighing me down. I'll go ahead and process that now. I've been getting a lot of that aluminum ore from that last session. How do I deal with radiation? Okay, well, the cool thing about the... So, think of it like this. Well, my radiation protection is 327 right now, without me doing anything. I don't know what yours is. But before I had the Secret Service armor, you do have a Secret Service, right? You said that you're wearing a full set of unyielding. Do you have the, uh, the buttressed mod? You want the buttressed, you want buttressed to make your armor 53, 53, 53. That's all I'm really doing. I'm not using any sort of Radex, diluted, or glowing blood pack, or rad shield. Okay. But I am constantly spamming. Not really spamming, but I'm monitoring my life all the time. Okay. All the time. If you look at, that's what I'm giving my eyeballs. So, sometimes I lose track and I die from the radiation. So, whenever I'm finding a Scorch Beast, or some situation where I'm around a ton of radiation, I'll do this with a quit. And I'll give myself a little bit more life, you see that? And then I let the radiation come and uh, bring it back down. But I'm also, always, I'm drinking stuff, you know. I'm sure you are as well. But, you have 300? Oh, I mean, w what's your radiation? Do you know off the top of your head? All I gotta say is that is that the Secret Service armor is pretty good, well-rounded, and it gives you pretty high numbers when you have the buttress mod. It'll give you 53, 53, 53, and so forth. But the, sorry, the, the chest gives you 115, 85, 85. It's pretty good. But there are ways to... Uh, you know, give yourself some nice rad resistance. I used to always make sure I had them. And if I were doing a nuke zone, not wearing power armor, I would make sure to maybe have red shield. They're kind of hard to farm. The uh, glowing fungus. No, the, the swamp spore thing. Whatever they're called out there in the mire. They spawn over here at nighttime next to the dire chemical plant right here on the shore. Anyways, R Radex, diluted, glowing fungus, sorry, uh, glowing blood pack, uh, the rad shield, okay, and some food. There's, there's a couple different foods that give you a big old chunk of rad resistance for carnivore or herbivore, and all that stuff stacks up. And you go in there with a bunch of other flim flam. On top of that, you have the option for the wet rags perk. This, this thing really does work. It gives you plus 50 rad resistance, and it gives you one rad per second restoration. It really just trickles and trickles and trickles. There's also some other endurance perks, which I don't use. But, like Sunkissed over here, you slowly regenerate radiation damage during the daytime. You see? Yes. Alright, so we're moving on. I got my flim flam. Let's go back and talk to the cook with my fast travel tent. 
You didn't think about modding your armor? Well, there's some pretty good mods for your armor that you can't have in power armor. That's another big bonus. You also have the backpack. The backpack is important. And you can't have a backpack when you're in power armor. But there's different mods for the backpacks in the Pioneer Scouts quest line. Pretty good stuff. There's also the... Insu so there's insulated for the energy resistance. There's uh, armor plated for the ballistic resistance. There's the... Uh, there's a rad resistance one. There's high capacity. There's grocers and chemists. And so forth. Right now, I think I'm using the grocer's backpack, which lets me take off the through hiker perk. Right now, for my armor, I should probably break line of sight right now. My workshop's over there and I own it. Person can kill me. You see right over here? My armor stabilized. Uh, for my arms. It probably reduces my the AP cost for power attacks for some garbage like that for whatever. So it's good for whatever. Jetpack, of course, is a mod for the chest. It's a torso mod. It's a jetpack. Right. For my legs, custom fitted, it reduces the AP cost while sprinting, so it's like a free marathoner effect. There's other mods that give you extra unarmed damage and everything. Uh, let me see what I can do really quick. I'm going to hop right all over here to Vault 79. Now that we're on the subject... I'm hopping down to the Secret Service vendor. Just to see. Just to see. Just to see. So normally... Doing anything around a radiation site or around a fisher site or around a scorch beast is very dangerous until you have the right defense. If you're in power armor or if you... It's sort of like a, a prestigious thing to be able to handle high levels of radiation not in power armor. You know? There's perks to help you. Live by rules. Cole and seems other to have forgotten that. Yeah, we don't call him slick for nothing. So, let me check the vendor here. Buttressed. You see? It costs 500 gold. It costs 500 gold for the buttressed mod for the arms and for the Agent legs. Stern should never have had a child. Lines. That little brat is a pain in the ass. So, on the subject, we'll call Peter for sure. I'll be swapping up the mods on my arms for the brawler mod, okay, for increased unarmed damage. I just want to make sure all these things. It's important. Versatility. If AC reduces the paperwork anymore, I'll be out of a freaking job. Well, but he's the agent in charge, so don't mind the others. People's skills aren't their strong suit. Napalm. I like I, I like the the cryo. I think it's pretty cool. Deep pockets. Oh, my days in the field are past me. Now I get to handle. Deep pockets give you extra capacity. That's a great look on you. Thank you. See, pretty important. Mods are also very important for uh, power armor as well, you know. Okay, so now we're moving around. We're doing our dailies, doing our dailies. Turn in my honey. Let's see what are you looking at, tough guy? Shut up. 
turning the scorched beast meat. I'll go straight to Vault Tech. Well, let's not. Let's go straight to Atlas. It'll be free. I'll drop everything off. The stream only has an hour left, so I'll do what I can until then. Until, quote unquote, then. Yes? 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 Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off. Turn this in while I'm here. Welcome to Fort Athens. Yes, Alan. Yes. Remember, also, when you're not in power armor, there's a perk, there's a, a few perks that work, but don't work in power armor. So, if you if you've been playing up until now in power armor, you never had to worry about it. There's a bunch of perks, actually. I'm sure you know about them. A bunch of them give you extra armor or defense of some variety. But not so much rad resistance, but there is a perk for that. But whatever, I, I wouldn't waste it. Sometimes uh, oh, I used to use it in the past. You might need it, but you know, th there's evasive under agility, where your agility equals ballistic and energy defense, right? There's escape artist. Where whenever you squat, you turn invisible for a second with a cooldown, but that doesn't work in power armor. It's really, 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 really important. Escape artist under agility only costs one point. What's going on here? Serendipity is a very important perk. I'm sure you know about it. It only works when you're not in power armor. It's under luck. It costs three points, and it's very important. It gives you a percent chance to... Avoid all damage. When you are below a certain amount of life. Okay. And you have... I'm trying to show you a barbarian over here. Every point of strength. See how it says no power armor? A few things work like that. So you have that one, and you have evasive over here, if I even have it. I don't have it because I'm not even using that right now. Yeah, there it is, evasive. Every point of agility adds three points, max 45. Boom, boom, boom. And over here, we have the serendipity. While below 30% health, you gain a 45% chance to avoid damage. Very important, okay? And over here, this escape artist perk, very important. Very important. Okay? The old world has so much to teach us. Okay. I have a question. The past has the answers, but... You're done right. Not a bad backup. Back it up and let it drop, drop. My friend. I have some technical data. I can't wait to take a closer look at this. Thanks Check again. It out. It's a training manual. Okay. New recruits, training, Let's go talk to like Boomer. I'm knocking out these little dailies so that my quest log isn't filled up all the way. 
I believe, let's, let's just say that you complete all the dailies back to back, boom. I don't think they all appear at the same time. I think some of them appear during certain times of the day until your quest log is filled. But if you clear it out, then they'll kind of trickle in. It's either that or it's based upon the last time that you completed the daily. Either way, they still trickle in, but it's nice to clear them all. You can't just do the Greetings, workshops all the time, or the public event all the time, or the bomb all the time. You have to do code this. D four seven nine three. You are now a deputy Darn of right. the Berkeley Springs Police Department. What's my job? It is now your responsibility as an able-bodied citizen I to carry out the duty Ugh. of this bomb disposal unit, code name. Boomer. Yeah? Where are the bombs? Information will be uploaded to your pit boy. Locate and recover the explosive device or devices to fulfill your civic duty. Alright, bye bye. Good. I don't want to hear about my success or failure rate. Hardware pal. malfunction unit. I have a in job. mobile and requires assistance. Ah. Okay. Let me go ahead and first go right over yonder and take care of this little mission. There's something I need to go turn back into the foundation. Get within tracking range. There's a raider that stole something. Uh, I will be live again, so it looks like, it looks like everybody that I'm going to be live overlapping into the morning time, okay? So, for some of you, you'll be, you'll be catching me when you wake up. Because this stream is still going for a, a bit longer, okay? And I'll be taking a break to eat afterwards, and then I'll be coming back. But I will be coming back here because there's lots of stuff to do. You see, that, that's how much content there is. People are wondering what to do. Well, don't back yourself into a corner. There's so much content, baby. Where is it? Hey, you, give it back. Hey. I know you want what I took, but we need it as much as they do. Well, go go find your own. Look, look, look. If you pay me, you can keep it, okay? Well, why do you need it so bad? Are you kidding me? Water, of course. Uh huh. Healthy people can handle a few rads, but we got sick kids that can't. You got sick kids. Well... Uh, I'll tell you what. You pay me, and I'll and j j just pay me. That's a deal. Good doing business with you. You're gonna be lying to me about these sick kids. Now get. I'll kill your friend though. Hey, a deal's a deal. I have to take what ain't mine. What? <laughs> out of here. I'll loot this building for a second. Okay. 
Now we'll hop on up over yonder to the crevasse dam to go get these bombs that are waiting for me. Hey Matthew, how's it going? Out of my way, beast. Slam, a good dodo. Get two. Absolutely perfect, people. I can't wait. I can't wait for this game to be in VR. I can't wait. It's going to feel like I'm flying. Alright. I know they're going to do it. They made Fallout 4 VR and Skyrim VR. They did. I believe you jump in the line. Take your body in time. So I'm heading to the public event over here. I'm still trying to do it a little bit. And then I'll do a... Uh... Another daily. They're trying to clear out the quest log. Hey there, James. Hey, and hey. I've come to assist you. Icebreaker on duty. Icebreaker reporting in for duty. Will be recorded. Mineral transfer required. Please use flame token. Rare minerals detected error. Selection from living being not currently authorized. Resuming standard collection. Out of my way. Out of my way. Him, all right, I'm gonna punch him. Pumping them knees. Catch me.
Out of my way. Run. It's going to collapse. Yeah. Hey there, Matthew. What time is it for y'all people? Not you, Cortana. Get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of here, Cortana. You ain't done nothing good for nobody. Run. I wish we got more credit. Give me more credit for what I'm doing, and I'd be so much happier, you know? There's just, there should be some sort of credit for doing dailies. Some sort of coins, credit, token, system. Ongoing tally. That is dead on terrible. That is not the right weapon to use. Let's use anything else. Assault rifle for five seconds. I have to tag it. Tag, tag, tag. area where they're glowing pink from the berry mint go through and kill these bad guys quickly the game do this to me. They make it so hard to click on things sometimes. I'm just knocking out these little dailies for a moment. You know. Towards the end of the stream. I think I will end this stream in Nuclear Winter. Wouldn't that be fun?
I don't expect to win. I just want to knock out the daily and increase my familiarization. Dots mean nothing. The dots mean nothing. Oh my gosh, the dots mean nothing. Okay, let's go down to Vault Tech. Tell you what, wasting my dog garn time. My dog garn time. Dog. During. Time. Here we are. I'm gonna go through this place and loot her up good. There's a few trash cans. I'm not gonna loot her up good, actually. There's way too much stuff in this building to actually loot up. It's just too much. It's too much stuff. There's so much. But isn't that a good thing? It's like saying you don't want to go to that treasure trove because there's too much treasure and it'll take too long to pick up. And it'll weigh your car down. You have to, it'll cost more gas. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. The problem here is, this is a very large building, and it links to a, an old vault tech uh, simulation lab thing, okay? An old vault tech uh, shelter. Simulation. Simulation shelter. Okay? With many layers and rooms and things. A bunch of looting involved. And we'll do it. It's worth it in the end. There really is a lot. There's a bunch of lead and so forth. And oil. few books here and there. And now I'll fight them. Thank you. up here yeah. a few things in the corner all the bad guys are dead which is weird because this is the instanced location oh boy open the door Uh, 
Time to go. I haven't memorized all the loot, but I still check. Memorized a lot of it. Technical data. It's nice to have Master Infiltrator. Let's go through screening. Inaccessible. No soap. Two hangers. Go back up and around, I guess. down nope that is out though I don't want to go out necessarily it's just the other way out okay. I know we don't go through screening a bunch of billiard balls I guess not Yeah, those doors never open. Overseer is the other way out. I'll go there eventually. We, we want to go through maintenance. That is the the deep farm. I think it ends... Yeah, this is the door accessible from the other side. Secret door. About to go up through and get it all. So I'm going to take off Incisor and put on Pack Rat 2. There it goes. And shot and strong back one. There's some lead right here, though. Once I break it down, it won't be bad. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to dump everything in this locker. Everything. Right? Because I'm about to loot through this place. This is the instance location. I'm about to pop out through that other door. And when I do, I'll pick up all the stuff. Be good to go. Ammo. Keep the missiles. Okay, and a few weapons. All the grenades or whatever. Well. Pretty much everything. How about that? Yeah. And now I have room to loot. Okay, we're all good to go, good to go, good to go. I trust a server that much. Free. We're free. There's the maintenance area. There's a bunch of loot down here. Oh, a 
Elgin Broad Cider. Aluminum canisters. Thank you for blowing up all my loot. Well, not all of it. Good thing I dropped everything. I would have definitely been over encumbered with all that, uh, with the broad cider. Okay, good to go. What's this door? This is the back exit. about the uh, gold vault or gold bullion was this the room maybe I don't know it's been a while here. With everything. So I will be playing again after like an hour and a half break or whatever. Maybe two hours. And I will be doing more of this overnight until the morning. Okay. So here's all the, all the loot we had before. Did I get it? <sighs> I sure did. See that? Wonderful. And we'll leave through the overseer. I sold a couple of things today. See, people get wealthy and they want to spend their money. You know? They want to spend their money. They see some nice items paired along with other nice items and they start to see the value. So I'm kind of weak, just for a second. Getting this loot down, like I said, a full loot run. Oh no! Standing down. 
Yikes. They did work on the melee, this last perk, so it should be a slightly different experience for all weapons. Maybe I didn't like the weapon before, but that was before they fixed it, quote unquote, you know? Ooh. So I want to swap out my arm mod for the brawler for that additional melee damage. Once I'm out of here, that's what I'll be doing. Obviously. Oh yes, so the stabilized mod, I, I forgot for a bit what the stabilized mod did. The stabilized mod makes it look like the sniper level 3. It makes it where you no longer have to hold alt to have a stabilized sight picture when using rifles with a scope. It's pretty tight the entire time. It's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, so I'm going back to my camp, swapping up the arm mods, moving on with our lives together at the same time. Cool. And now we move on. Right on down the way and drop all that lovely loot off. You know what? I never even did the actual mission. I never put the Scorch Priest DNA in the centrifuge. Let's hurry up. But I got a bunch of loot, eh? That's cool. There's an epic fight between a Scorch Beast, sorry, uh, between a Sheep Squatch and a Death Claw. Epic. They're fighting over the food and babies. Okay. Right over here, there's a bit more lead. Actually. If you can believe it. See, I love finding reasons to run through my resources. Or, uh, let's just say, legit reasons. Not just... whatever. That's why it's nice to process my money. Whenever I get a certain amount of money, I want to go down to the vendors to uh, get rid of all my money. So I have to craft a big stack of something to sell to the vendors, so that the vendors have, uh, money. You see, I buy it from the vendors. The vendors have money. I have to get rid of the vendors' money to give the vendors more money. It's complicated. This is how it works. Vendors have a capacity of 1,400 caps, okay? If they get over that amount, it's like imaginary money. It doesn't even really exist. Uh, well, it's not good. 
It doesn't give you a warning. It gives you a warning, but it doesn't stop you. So, for example, if you want to make maximum profit, you want to buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell. If you have a bunch of stuff you want to sell to the vendor, so you're selling stuff to the vendor, boom, boom, boom. The vendor has money. They have 1,400 caps. You're getting that money. You're selling. Now they have zero. Once they have zero, you can no longer buy, uh, sell to the vendor. Okay, so now you have to buy something from the vendor to give the vendor money. Now you give the vendor money up to 1,400 caps. So, as you see here, to get rid of your money, you have to keep giving it to the vendor. Vendor hits capacity. You sell more stuff to the vendor to clear out the vendor's uh, money to make more room for more money. That's what you gotta do. But in the process, I'm crafting a bunch of stuff, so I'm going through my my uh, junk and I'm basically turning the junk into XP not much but it adds up sometimes it's enough to level me up not a whole level just to go over the edge there we go we're under see that yeah let's get the heck out of here and then take that perk off I put the uh Pack rat perk on. I want to restore myself and go back down, down to my camp to modify my armor, my arms to add the brawling arms on. Next stream, I'll be focusing on getting a few more AP food, specifically the Razor Green Flower and the Monster Mash event. I want to do Monster Mash multiple times. You usually can. Sometimes it's back to back, to be honest. I'll be doing it on a private server. get out of here drop everything off take off the perks my finger my finger was too heavy I killed myself. With all that loot on me. Somebody at this point has a chance to grab all that loot I just dropped. Look how much there is. I love the bomb again, you know. I haven't bombed in a bit, but maybe later. Maybe later, whatever. I don't know. I like to do it le legitimately. I like to get the code pieces naturally. Wait for the keyword to resolve. If everything's settled and proper with my build and everything. I'm not in some hole. And we're in your first sprint. Now we go back down to my camp. All right. Right back down to my camp right now. This is the last thing I'll be doing in the stream. Right now.
I'll eat something and do some stuff. And I will now modify my armor. It's the last thing I'm doing in a stream, people. Besides maybe repairing. In the next stream I'll be harvesting, huh? Let's go to my arms if I have any. Right arm, left arm. Stabilize, brawling, yeah. There it is. My other arm is over here. Left arm. Brawling. Hey there, Richard, how's it going? And my other piece is away, but it doesn't really matter. I'm using this combo, this hodgepodge hybrid. Both worlds. We're all done. Let's see my gear. We're all repaired up, actually, so we're good to go there. So I guess we're done. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. I'll be back. Right now it's basically nine. Let's just say I'll be back at midnight. Yeah. Or a little bit later. So that my plan is to start early and then overlap until people's morning. I'm going to overlap into your morning, okay? We're leaving at rank 71. Level 1464. Okay? I'll be back in a bit, okay? Goodbye. Goodbye. Join the Gababa Ecliptic Facebook group and follow me on Twitter.